Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I know you've been trying to call me all day, but girl, he just left and I, I had to wait till he left to call you because I know I said I was gonna break up with him, but last night he did like a full 180. He was an animal. Where did this come from? Because you know, I've been telling you, it's been like kind of dull and like something changed and I don't know what his secret is, but I'm trying to find out. His secret, Sword Vitality. Alright y'all, welcome back to another episode of That's Fucked Up. Woo! It's something Let's about it. maybe 52, 53, we somewhere around there. I lost 52. track of 50. I can't you believe 52. we haven't got kicked off yet. Close. Well, we, oh, yeah, yeah. We're on we, final we, straw with a couple <laughs> platforms, that's for sure. That is for sure. We gotta, is could, that be over, you, could be over after this. Is one. that why you changed the name? <laughs> yeah. Because I, I was like trying to click on the link one time in my in my profile, and I was uh, like, did, it, did my own podcast hide from me? No, I like Did they the, block I, me? I like the new name. TFU? TFU. Yeah, TFU. It sound like a university. We should throw a party. Maybe <laughs> fucking university parties, TFU. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Anyways, we got a guest in the house today. Hassan, welcome in. Welcome in. Music producer, artist, director. Sure. Doing, <laughs> doing, doing lots of things out here. How you been? How you doing? Man, pleasure. Thank you for having me on the show. And uh, so. I really appreciate it all as well. All right. Well, if I do my research correctly... I'm hearing you come from the armpit of the United States. You grew up in Florida? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Damn. First of all, I want to apologize to you for that. So, I don't know how rough it was. What part of Florida did you grow up in? Yeah, it's interesting. I'm like, <laughs> I, my father's uh, Middle Eastern and Arab, and my mom's like a white lady from Florida, so I'm like a Middle Eastern cracker. Okay. Yeah, because <laughs> if, you, if you're born in Florida, you're like technically like a cracker. Yeah, so, that's for sure. Yeah, so but I also, take, I take all things. I'm like someone who's like, uh, you know, my mother's part Jewish. I'm uh, my father's Muslim, born in Iraq. How did that go? Yeah, and I'm a born again Christian, so I'm here to like, I'm here to unite everyone through, uh, you know, through the spirit. So, so if your mom, you say now, your you mom say was everyone, Jewish. What about like Hindu? I didn't hear no Hindu in there. Yeah, I, I actually. What about like some? Other shit. I feel like anybody only just talks Christian, Muslims, and yeah. and they just leave everybody else out. Yeah, no, nah, I think like uh, <laughs> you know people have a lot of smoke for Gandhi because people think that he might have been racist or he was like was messing with kids or something like that. But I love Gandhi because Gandhi sat down with Martin Luther King and really was the one that was like giving the whole peace play. He was like, "Yo, like I fought a war with peace. <laughs> like right. I stopped." Like war with peace, like yo, this is how this is how you should run this play, and I think Martin had good intentions, but he got hijacked by Jesse Jackson and uh, you know the Democrats. But um, Florida man, growing up, <laughs> Florida, yeah. Huh. I want to hear about your mom and your dad. Yeah. How did that even? Do you go to the yeah. same like, household, everybody together, all the religions going down at one time? Yeah, did how did that go? To, yeah, well, that's a good question. Like, my mom definitely ran the house, you know, like, uh, you know, my, my father, and this is the this is the issue with a lot of, like, families a lot of, a lot of time is the mother do be running the house, especially in Jewish uh, families. Uh, and it's a lot of times it's because the man is scared of the wife. And it's because, you know, most men end up marrying their mothers. You know, we... Uh, no, I ain't, I'm not going to marry my mom. Yeah. Well... Uh, I'll break it down. Did you? Did yeah. you? I don't think so. Yeah. No. Nah. Yeah. Well, it's an Adam and Eve syndrome. I mean, I like strippers. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do my mom in like gonna that. You marry yeah. a stripper? I would. I wouldn't have a problem with it. Yeah. Shout well, out to the strippers. If you see AD out there, he's trying to settle down. <laughs> Watch out for him. Yeah. And I'm cur shout out to I'm currently dating an ex porn star who's now uh, born That's what again. I'm talking about. So shout out to that. But it is all stems from the resentment of our mothers. Um, and real quick, just to give you the synopsis, Adam and Eve. Uh, the minute that Eve listened to the serpent and disobeyed uh, Adam, that became her god. 
Satan became the woman's God. And the minute that Adam listened to the woman and disobeyed his father, woman became man's God. And we have to overcome the woman so we could help the woman overcome the serpent. That's why Christ came. Um, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, my mom and dad, um, what was the question? Was there any conflict in the house because oh, yeah. they because one was Muslim and then one was Jewish? Well, because well, she, they don't get along now. Yeah. Well, she's Catholic, but she's just, her mother was Jewish just by blood, by, oh, okay. by blood but she's, okay. she's Catholic and she raised me Catholic. Um but she just ran the show. She was like, yo, he's, he's, we're about Jesus in this house and he's going to be raised this way. And my dad was like, okay, cool. Because he was, you know, my interpretation is that he was, he couldn't defend me from her. Did you ever ask him why did he allow that to happen? Just recently when I went and forgave both of them. What did he say? I said, dad, why, were, why couldn't you protect me from my mother? From right. mom. And he was like, I don't know. And I already knew the answer because I knew that it was he never overcame his mother. Mm. He never went and forgave That's his deep. mother. And every man who doesn't go and forgive their mother will end up marrying their mother because they have resentment and anger. When you say forgive, what are you referring to? Like meaning, meaning like child trauma? Right. Exactly. All men that are walking around who have anger, any man who has anger has their mother's identity. Josh, this is what's going on with you. My dad's an angry dude, though. That's where the anger came from. My mom wasn't really that angry. But that's because of his mother. Yeah, well, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but that his dad was... I don't know how far back you gotta go, because yeah. it was his dad that was, you know, kicked out of the military for being an angry dude. Throwing shit around. Stuff like that. Mm. But the first person- It was always like, the ladies are always kind of cool in my... I think you, I think, well, okay, put it this way. I always notice in certain families, like, you have the one, like, the dominant person. That's the person (laughs) with the big voice. Right. And then the other person is usually quiet. Yeah. So, are you saying your mom had the big voice and your dad was more quiet? Yes. Yeah, okay. And that's just a, it's just a beta male thing that we all, and I'm not, I love my father, but I understand it because I understand it. Every girl that I've ever dated up until this point, has been my mother. So mm. I, I knew it. I was like, man, why I keep getting involved with mama? And it's because of, as human beings, we're attracted to what we hate. We also become what we hate, uh, funny enough. Um, and that's why anyone who blames people, like I was talking to Larry Elder the other day, and I was like, man, I voted for you to be governor, man. And you, I think you got uh, robbed. But I was like, uh... I don't know if I should say this, but he was like, man, I was talking to Trump and like, he talking, I might be vice president. I was like, based. I was like, that's what we need, man. We need, uh, not no rhino, like, um, uh, what's the other black dude that dated that white, uh, that just married that white girl, Tim Scott. I think his name is Mm -hmm. Tim Scott. He's a rhino, man. We need Larry Elder. Who's like super based and shit. But, um, but I was telling him, I was like, Oh, he was saying like, man, I just can't imagine a grown man walking around blaming people. You know what I mean? Like even my father, my father being from Middle East, he, even in his job today, he, like the other day he told me, he's like, I'm dealing with racism. I'm like, how you sound being a grown man <laughs> talking like that? And we got to, we got to seriously, like, we got to wake up and realize that it ain't got nothing to do with no isms. There's no such thing as racism. There's no such thing as sexism. There's no such, such thing as, uh deadbeat dadism there's no thing as anti-semitism it's just love or hate Mm. and we got to stop masking the devil we got to point it out for what it is now that's hatred that's somebody has anger in their heart and hatred and also discrimination is not racism before you walk into a restaurant it says we have the right to discriminate that's an amazing thing we should i discriminate every day i'm a vegetarian i discriminate against meat all the time. So it's like, we got to just stop being sensitive, you know, and being like, and being what it is. And we also have to admit that there are differences amongst the races. People, you know I mean? so, they way <laughs> too sensitive now. Yeah. This shit is ridiculous. I, I, I agree with everything you're saying. Everybody getting softer and softer. They can't, they can't take the conversation. Yeah. 
And it's like, I don't want to get into like a race realism conversation because we're probably not ready for that. And, you, and that, no. would definitely, that would definitely get you by deplatformed. But like, we discuss race all the time. There's a lot of race at this table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> We can talk about whatever we want. We yeah. have yeah. all the hues. Yeah. 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 There you go. I was just joking, but like, yeah, but there is, there is, uh, you know, but yeah, it's just love and hate. And it really stems from the destruction of the family. You know, we be talking about all these uh, symptoms and these side effects. Like people be telling me, oh man, you got a, uh, you got a cold, take some cough medicine. The cough medicine is only helping the symptom. I'm still going to be, I'm still going to have the sickness, right? So we be, we be caught up in like taking care of the symptoms and taking mm -hmm. care of the side effects. But the root of it is the destruction of the family, you know, uh, removing the father from the home. And that's what I was talking about with the Democrats and with Jesse Jackson, the civil rights movement. They, they brought in the welfare program with Linda B. Johnson to remove the father from the home. Right. You know, and that's what we're dealing with. We're not dealing with like all this other like made up stuff that just sounds like victimhood stuff. Like people were all up in arms that Candace Owens had a conversation with uh, Joe Budden or whatever. It's like, why are you so scared of the dialogue? Why right. are you scared of the conversation? Like Ye's interview with Big Boy just got taken down. And he I'm got like, taken down? Yeah. He got like, taken down? Yeah. And I'm like, man, he ain't even really say nothing. Like, and if he did say anything, it should show you that maybe it's true. That nobody wants to allow it to be said. What was said in the interview? I don't remember the Did you hear the part? Um and and <laughs> Yeah. I, I don't know how you feel about this when yeah. he was saying Dave he called out Dave Chappelle, Mick Mill, and I don't remember and Puff. And yeah. But that's not why that's not why I got taken down. <laughs> what? It got what? taken down because uh he talking about them boys. But the point is <laughs> the, 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 hey, is it the Jewish community them boys? Uh non Christians. Okay. It's my label for them. Okay. <laughs> or the chosen. Uh but yeah. So anyway, I don't want to derail. Sorry. Nah. It okay. sounds but, like you're. Are you rolling with Trump? Yeah. I mean, who who in their right mind not rolling with Trump at this point? Like, bro, we out here starving, bro. We we paying for like, come on, man. Like, even the liberals don't want to vote for Joe Biden. Now that's because he's supporting Israel and and all that. But even the liberals is like, man, you know what? Maybe we got it wrong. They just too much. They too stubborn to admit it, but even liberalism that I'm cool with are like, man, you know what? I think I made a mistake. No, nah, well, I understand what you're saying about. I think for me, Joe Button has just fallen down way too many times for me, <laughs> <laughs> and, and forgot too many speeches for me. So, and then Trump, Biden, Biden, Biden. yeah, that's Joe what I meant. Button. Okay, yeah, yeah. Joe Button, I don't know if he falls down as yeah, much. But uh, and then as far as uh, Trump goes. This is my issue with Trump. A businessman is going to do business for himself if he's, put, if he's put into that position. And I don't know if he's enough of a politician to look out for everybody. But I feel, well, a lot of, a lot of things that you're saying, I, you know, I feel it. But I, it's just tough. But to vote for uh, Joe Biden again, would, would, that would be hard. But I'm not going to lie. The State of the Union kind of swayed me a little bit. I'm Back like, to Biden? That? Yeah. Back like, to Biden? He can talk for an hour. Now I know that. <laughs> yeah. Well, also, too, like, you made a good point. Uh, he's a businessman. America's a business, bro. I know, but a businessman <laughs> is selfish. And, <laughs> yeah, and, but and, and, we, and America... America is is 350 million people, so it's a little bit different. Yeah. So you got to look out for everybody. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out... Because, you know, we all do business. So we're all individual businessmen. And if I was put into a situation, my shit would be super selfish. Yeah. <laughs> it's just It just would. I would yeah. look out for my family, my friends, and take care of people. Yeah. And that's how I would go about it. Yeah, but don't you think that if he's the CEO of the company and America's the company, and he's saying things like, yo, we need to stop illegal aliens from coming in the country. That helps the overall $350 million, but it also helps the company as a whole. Uh, build the wall um, when he's like um, when he's like uh, in support of like the fact that Democrats are like I know this isn't a hot topic but people talking about taking away guns and stuff like that and it's like bro the stupidest places on earth are gun free zones because if I'm a bad guy with a gun that's where I'm going 
No, but they, you know they look at the situation a little bit differently. So I think Paris is gun free, right? Yeah. For, yeah, so, but they also but have then, but, but people they, beating each other with bats. But I mean, you and can, that, you can run from a bat. <laughs> so you can run from a bat. You can get out of that situation. I think yeah. more or less they're saying is like, how many people are actually dying? For a certain situation, yeah. are the people living through those situations? And I think that's what they're referring to as far as getting rid of guns and things like that. Yeah. I mean, well, listen, I'm I don't strapped. think anybody. Anybody don't... come in my house? That's yeah, but ass. nobody exactly. needs to get rid of. <laughs> The, uh, the guns aren't the problem. It's the type of guns. And, like, there has to be some sort of regulation. It's fucking utterly ridiculous that you could go somewhere and just get, like... Have like a people got tanks. Yeah. <laughs> you know that. Like, civilians own tanks. Yeah. yeah. And, like, Not weird real. shit like that. Like, for what? In case we gotta overthrow the government. <laughs> you got one tank, you're not overthrowing shit. Yeah. Well, they one... can't even fight the firing pin. You're gonna have to figure that thing out, probably. Yeah. I don't think they sell that with it. Well, in history, you look at history, the people who took away guns Stalin, Hitler, Saddam Hussein. You know, uh, my grandfather was killed by Saddam Hussein. Uh, wow. He was decapitated. My grandfather was in the parliament pre Saddam Hussein. Um, and uh, and after that, my fifteen brothers, my father and his fifteen brothers and sisters f- became political refugees. But what I'm saying is, and I actually think Saddam's pretty based, but meaning like cool. Mm-hmm. That's a, it, uh, but what I'm saying is like, look at the people who try to take away guns, you know, in in in, in all of history, and it's like, uh, yeah. So we, it's the Second Amendment, bro. We, you know, we. We, Why? We're not even a democracy. We're Why Republic. is it the Second Amendment? People want to talk like it's the Second Amendment, like it's so important. Yeah. But it was made the Second Amendment in like 1770s. Right. And the answer, when yeah. what was happening? I don't know what was happening. <laughs> we were people in small houses that could be invaded by another country. Yeah, and, look and the at, reason we had to arm ourselves with guns is because literally we were at risk of like people coming to to kill us or you don't go back like, to war like it was right after that right. happened do i feel like that can happen today you no. don't feel that not risk in, the same in la way. me oh la is different not in, not <laughs> yeah but the risk people talk about is like the government's gonna come and take all my stuff yeah. and take all my money and they're gonna do that whether you got 12 guns or no guns yeah you're not gonna well, stop and and it's the same thing with like vaccinations you know how many shit i see of like them putting whatever they want in our food yeah you go to the grocery store you're gonna get vaccinated yeah. And they're literally telling you on the labels. We just don't read shit or don't care about <laughs> shit or don't look at shit. And let them do whatever the fuck we want. We're talking about guns when they're killing us with the food. Yeah. Who gives a fuck about a gun? Yeah. You got 12 guns, but you're out eating Cheetos. Right. I think you just saying you're that. Killing yourself. They mm. took your gun They away. did take my fucking gun. <laughs> <laughs> they did take my gun. Yeah. But that's not the point. <laughs> that's not the point. Well, I didn't have like 45 AKs, you know, sitting around for the fucking government takeover. Like, I, I, got, a, people, I got a gun upstairs and downstairs. Yeah. yeah but, sure. You know, you got coyotes running around your that's backyard. <laughs> And, you know, it's also, too, it's like um, with everything that's going on with in L.A. now, my boy owns a store on Melrose, and he's like, man, they could come in here and steal up to $1,000 worth of stuff, and I can't do nothing. That's real. Like, how are you supposed to be a business person? How are you supposed to function in life when people are able to come in and and steal from you? Or when these people was doing the— What uh, happens if he has a gun? Man, I don't— it, oh, well, whatever. The first person to get shot— then People there's, tend then to there's turn around. Gonna, okay, <laughs> but that person gets shot. Now he's laying in your store dead. Now your store shut down for the investigation. Months upon time, like it's the same thing. You're still gonna lose a thousand dollars. Yeah, but we should. But that's see, that's the problem. You're still gonna lose a thousand dollars, but now somebody's hey, look, dead. The but that, next riot, they gonna <laughs> skip my store though. Yeah, they were like, yeah, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's the problem too. Is that we have this like culture that's like. Uh, Supportive of those types of um, encouraging anger to do those riots in the first place. That was unbelievable. Like the fact that all summer 2020, the country was just set on fire. I mean, I don't want to go too like super. I'm about to go super like Nazi conservative. So let's just maybe. (laughs) But my, my point is that that shit is ridiculous. What happened? And if anybody came up into my store or tried to vandalize my store or set my store on fire, they getting shot dead. I heard so, that. 
Well, <laughs> I, I recently heard in the news that Kanye got like a million dollars worth of like clothes stolen in a warehouse here. Oh yeah, I seen that. Yeah, and Duff yeah. Charney like the uh, Gap thing, the Gap Kanye. Yeah, it, it was, was like, like a Gap Kanye collab, and someone was trying to sell a bunch of shit, and they got shut down for. Yeah, uh, yeah, I saw. That. But, but the guy shut down for being fake. No, I think no, it's no, no. It, was it was like a warehouse it was stolen. St- I don't know if it was Gap. It could have been the new Jesus. No, it was nah, easy. It was Gap a Gap stuff. collab. Jesus guy. Yeah. yeah. But I'll tell you this: like, I'm talking about guns. I'm more nervous when I'm in a red state than when I'm even in LA. Because I'm in the movie theater. I'm like, okay, when is this white kid gonna jump in and shoot everybody? Yeah. Jesus. Well, so why don't so why don't you so, yeah. so why don't you feel that? Yeah. Real fucking so, dick move, Alejandro. <laughs> well, and it's also just a silly statement because it's like you don't feel that way around uh uh Blacks or around because uh, they I don't feel very movie theaters, but they're very should, comfortable so, around. Blacks. What do white people do? So <laughs> wait a minute. I feel very so, comfortable yeah. in the history of movie theater shootings. It's awkwardly swayed to one one of us. I mean, white so, people so, control the shootings. It's me. So, they me. rule the shootings. Yeah. Mass shootings, though. Yeah. We don't do the one. I know, the not one the one, off. two. No, no, you no, know what one I mean? Off. One or so, two people. Oh, no. light work. Oh, no. We don't, so, we don't oh, fuck around with that as much. Oh, no. So Chicago's not mass shootings? What's Chicago? Baltimore are not mass shootings? Yeah, they probably. Detroit are not mass How shootings? How many people are dying at once? Bro, are you, are you serious? Yeah, I'm asking. I, I, Pull it. Uh, we can pull it out, but what one I'm or two is, at a time. Just no. a spread out. Or are we talking like ten, fifteen? <laughs> so you gonna tell me it was a hot weekend in Chicago? I don't. know. He's from Chicago, so he can give but us if the it's stats. Scattered the point, around by different shooters. That's not a mass shooting. That's just yeah. random acts of well, violence. J- to act like. To act <laughs> like. Uh, it's just so funny that people could get away with saying slick shit about white people in a country. Are you from this country? I'm from Puerto Rico. And, and yeah, so, tell them. And, and it's so amazing. Fucking white that people. No, yeah, but, hey, let them no, know. No, let yes. me know. No, no, no. It's, it's These amazing. two are the worst. No, but it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing that people could call white people who built this country and oh, made this oh, great country. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, God. And, and what a you, great. And, and, God damn. And people, and people come over to this country, and then when they're in the country, they'd be like, man, these people are so racist. They let you in the country. How are they racist? Oh, they let me in the they country? Let you in they the let me in the country. country. How'd you get here? Huh? How'd you get here? They came into my country. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lord. Oh, Lord. What, so what do you know about what Puerto Rico? What do we do to your country, well, I know Puerto Rico's part of America, but what I'm saying is like, not really. Yeah, but like, you yeah. know how Puerto Rico ended up being part of the United States? Nah. No? All I'm saying is the Did, white slander. You just gave it to us. No, 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 no. White people meal. need to slander. Nah. Nah, it's, absolutely. It's 100%. Bogus. 100%. It's bogus. It's bogus. It's bogus. It's because not guess bogus. what? If you did that about blacks, or you did that about Jews, or you did that about anyone else, you get taken off the big boy interview. But people can say whatever they want about white people. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think. I and, it's, think and, it's, and it's bogus. Well, hey, what, okay, what was the. Yeah. <laughs> when, when, what was what? the what's the white statement that you're offended by the most? No, I'm not offended. No, okay. We I hear it every day. No, but what do you think it is? Well, not, not you personally. Yeah. What's the white statement where you'd be like, ah, nah. They shouldn't be. That's not them. What do you think? <laughs> Wait, what for what? Which what's stereotype the white, yeah, what's is the stereo- not, yeah. It's not actually a stereotype that fits. For white people. Uh that they're to blame for everything. That they're that, Nobody that blame. Oh, white uh white supremacy is why I can't do this or why I can't do that. Or uh um, or whatever you just said about white shooting up. But it's true, like the mass shootings tend to be white people. If that's not true, no, I don't think so. And, and, and you don't think so? No, and it depends on what you're saying is mass shootings. I consider every shooting that happens, especially if it's I don't care who it is, if it's um, white on white, black on black, uh, whatever, whatever, them is mass shootings too. And we're not gonna sit here and say per capita who's doing the most shootings and who's doing the most violence. Because if you if you want to have that conversation and try to say it's white people, you know you sound crazy. Well, so who is well, that? Just talking about mass shootings. Shouldn't count. Well, now you're looking at the population and determining what's really going on. Who's doing the most killing? 
in the United States? Is it white people or is it black people or is it light That's people? That's because there's more white people. But okay. per capita, so, so, blacks so, commit but 50... That's, but that's you using statistics to prove a point. Yeah. So well, really, so really, the truth is, white people are doing the most shootings ultimately because it's more people. I know. Okay, and they're doing more shootings. Okay, yeah. yeah so I, that just comes with it. Okay, but we're clear cool. on what per capita is, right? Yeah, we know exactly okay. what it means. Okay, cool. All right. Well, anyway, so <laughs> I just think it's funny, you know, and I think a lot of a lot of like. Um, uh, Mexicans and blacks who who call white people like bad names or say white supremacy, they actually are mixing whites up with Jews. Oh, let's mm. go. They actually think that it's white people that's doing all this stuff to them when it's really Jews. And they just camouflage as whites. But they're so not white. Jew hate you're fine with. No, I'm just, just saying. Not white hate. I'm just, just saying. Not white hate. No, we take got all it. the white hate and fuck the Jews. That's <laughs> no. Is that you said? Like, yeah. Let's talk about the real people doing it. No, we just gotta clarify because people. I don't think people really understand the original that. Jews or the now Jews or the Ashkenazi <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jews. Which Jews? There's so many Jews now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Orthodox yeah. Jews. The yeah. You know, well, which Jews? Yeah, nah. I, be, I was at Shabbat last night. I'm with it. It's Does just anyone run. know why Jews run Hollywood? Does anyone actually know this? I do. Because why? Oh, wait, let's go. Yeah. Historically, because why do Jews even work or able to work in Hollywood, just like Mexicans yeah. and blacks and anybody like that? Well, it all starts from them being banned from 109 countries. It all starts with people thinking that the film industry wasn't going to be shit, and it was looked down upon to work in said industry. I thought, I thought yes. he was going to tell That's why Jews yeah. and Mexicans... I thought he was going to tell us. Go ahead. I mean, oh. <laughs> You're letting the dog I mean, you know, you know, like, you go ahead. You didn't start you far enough back <laughs> on why they're oh, no. even able to work in said industry. Oh, no. I started way before. I started before America. I started that they were banned from 109 countries. Okay. So, so that being said. And you know why they were banned? Why? I don't know. I don't know if we should, like, is this... We could we do about this all the time. Oh, Go okay. ahead. All he right. said we could do regular time. We don't have yeah. regular topics here. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, they were banned from 109 countries due to, you know, usury. When? What do you mean, throughout history? When were they banned? The 109 was over a pretty good span of time. I don't know. I'm not like a full-blown historian. 109 countries? Well, that's why, like, people like me, I'm just joking. We, I'm joking. But clan people will be like, make it 110, talking about America. <laughs> but uh, that's a joke. I'm a comedian. Uh, but what I'm saying is like, uh, they were banned because of usury. And um, in the Bible and the Quran, both tell what? you not to uh, owe people so money. So are we talking about the original Jews or are we talking about white Ashkenazi banned well, Jews? Well, they'll, be, they'll tell you they're not because white. Because who was banned first? Right, but those Jews will tell you. They'll make it clear the original to you. original Jews, Jews or yeah. which Jews are you? Because the Hollywood white Jews and the original Jews who were banned first from yeah. all these countries are... Apparently, two separate Jews. If you talk about what we're talking about, and well, you talk about what mainstream society wants to separate black Jews and white Jews, so the white bad Jews that everyone wants to blame for everything, like I, you said, I'm is not, a bad thing. Yeah, I'm not blaming. But you're over here saying Jews fucking do everything bad in the world. I didn't say that. Now, I didn't say that. Are, and you're talking about how they I originally, love Bibi but if they're originally banned from how many countries, that would be the original Jews who were banned from those countries, right? I, I'm so not, are those I'm the really white crazy Jews? Because the original Jews we all know were black, no? Oh, well, we know that for so sure. So the original <laughs> being pushed out of those countries okay. would have to be from those original black Jews, right? Wait, so no. The, who was banned first? Yeah. The Bible even specifies that there were black Jews. And even in Israel right now, you can find real black Jews that are in Israel. They're not the ones no, that are standing on the corner in Brooklyn uh, talking about they're the Hebrew Israelites. It ain't them. But what I'm saying is that it, to say that they're all black or they're all this, you know, there was... So only the white Jews are the bad ones. No, first of all, you're the one who keeps saying white Jews. That's the problem is that they're not... I'm just talking they, mainstream society, yeah. what everyone's talking but about. But they're not white. They are Jew, and they make it clear that, that Gentiles are like animals and wildebeests, according to their holy book, the Talmud. But this is what I'm saying is like... I, 
The 109 countries thing is just a fact. You can just look that up through history that they've been banned. And now the reasoning for that is up for debate, but we know that it was because of a lot of usury, banking system. Mm-hmm. It happened it worked in America. And you know and in those bannings they were always brought back once that once that kingdom started to fall and lose all their money maybe and if they, they got brought like, the Jews back and then built it up and then they exiled the Jews again. And that <laughs> and that happened throughout history through well, multiple different cultures. Yeah. So it's weird how you would keep bringing them back and then banning them when your shit goes bad no that's well, weird that's what i think um and here's I, another I thing when you say that, everyone's that been banned right and now everyone's talking about white jews are bad and they're not I the never said white jews. i'm not saying you i'm saying oh, okay. society yeah you got to think about if you've been banned from 109 countries and you're the original why, why are you picking up a weapon now well, sometimes yeah. i just hear <laughs> but if you're banned from 100 if you're banned from 109 countries and spread up He's Jewish. He's not going to actually do nothing. This motherfucker <laughs> is not Jewish at all. <laughs> oh. let's, let's clear say that. That's this right. Mo- he not. is not Jewish yeah. at all. No religious Jews affiliation. Jews do physical attacks. No religious They have too much of a high IQ for that. So, but if you've been exiled from 109 countries as the original, let's say the original black Jews were exiled. Okay. Right? I, sure. As you spread well, upon these different white nations, because that's the only place you have to go when you start fucking white bitches and having babies, and then that's how they get light skin, right? So to say that those people are not original Jews because their families have been practicing that for thousands and thousands of years, because they've been banned is why they're light skin now. So the argument to me is fucking ridiculous between white and black Jews and why we have light skin Jews. And if you think about the exile why, and why the spreading about... Why do you fight about, for them so hard? I, I was just I got curious. Jewish kids. <laughs> well, I'm not even talking My kids about are Jewish, the race. they're Israeli. I can put that out there. I got no problem with yeah, I'm like, I stand for the Jews. Nice. You stand for the Jews. Yeah, and, do you? Somebody's got to these days. And, I, and I'll even somebody's say somebody's got to these yeah. days. And I'll even say this: I stand with Bibi Netanyahu because guess what? If somebody came into my crib and tried to hurt my family. I'm doing worse than what he's doing to Gaza right now. So I'm for that. What I'm not for is that America has become a shell company for Israel. Well, I, that's how they exist. I, hold on, hold on. But what I'm saying is that I don't want to be paying for it. I don't want to be taking in uh, Palestinian refugees. I'm, we got to be about America first. We can't be controlled by Israel. They can do whatever they want, but they need to do it on their own time. Do you time. want to look up how many things America uses that Israel invented? Well, they have high IQ. Jews have high IQ. Okay, so fuck them, and then what? We got to start making our own shit then. We got to become self-sufficient. Nah, you can... Before we just say, fuck the Jews. No one's saying fuck the Jews. (laughs) I don't want that to... Okay, let's talk about something different. I love the Jews. Hey, I preface this with my mom is Jewish. So... (laughs) Ish. But to be Jewish. honest, Jewish. <laughs> she was raised Christian. Are you a raised Not Christian? Not of the black Jew. Now let's go back to the armpit of America and yeah. probably why you think the way you do. Okay. <laughs> you were born in Florida and you probably seen a lot of racist shit. And no. you're like, yeah, this is normal. Racism don't exist. See? That's Florida. No, he's saying there's love or hate. That's yeah. why he's saying it doesn't exist. Exactly. Okay, that, well, you've seen a lot of hate. About. Down there in Florida. I see hate. <laughs> I see hate mainly from uh, people within their, their same community. I see hate between Arabs and Arabs. I see hate with, between blacks and blacks. I see hate amongst... Uh, I see the most hate amongst people's family. My, my family. Uh, my uh, uh, People that I'm close with that I've been to their house. They're inside the family, it be hatred. It, it's hatred all over the place. We have, human beings have no love. Mm. Yeah, we're not capable of it. We're not capable of love. No. Why not? Because we're wicked to the core. Our heart is wicked to the core. Damn, you might be. I, I'm not wicked. I don't. <laughs> I, don't I don't. I don't have any anger towards anyone in my family whatsoever. Nice. I don't have. Listen, Josh. I don't have any hatred towards Josh, and he's given me plenty of fucking <laughs> reasons why, why I should hate him. Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> True. <laughs> nice. But we all have equal amount of reasons to hate each other. Yeah, but but we really but we really have no reason to hate anyone once we realize how wicked we are. The the good news about realizing how wicked you are, you'll never judge anyone ever again for doing anything to you because you'll realize, wow, I can't help myself. 
I realize that I'm possessed as a people, meaning our thoughts and our imagination. Anyone who believes thoughts is completely possessed. So if someone screws you, 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 you understand why they screwed you? You understand that it's not really them that's doing it. Now, in a practical way, you can... You so can, who was it then? For, ego and the thoughts, which for me as a Christian, I would say it's the enemy. It's from Satan or whatever. But it's the thoughts... We all are lost in our thoughts and our imagination. And anyone who believes thoughts is completely living in a in a illusion. But they had those thoughts, no? They believed the thought. And because they, they thought they, they had those thoughts and then they acted upon those thoughts and then they screwed you in a certain situation. You're right. But they believed that the thought was theirs. We believe that the thoughts that we have are our own. Okay, good. So who But they're not. Whose thoughts are they? The enemy. And who's the enemy? I, as a Christian, I would say Satan. So Satan gave us those thoughts. Right. Why would you ever have a thought of being sad or a thought of being, or people who do get upset? Well, or, I think what, what, when people are upset about things, sometimes people have that emotion of being sad. But no? you can't have the emotion unless you believe the thought first. Is this the along the lines that you think that God's just like this ever floating being that never has any anger? Because he's pretty wrathful. N- not that because n- the nice dude in the Bible pretty much fucks everybody up all the time. Well, that's in the y'all Bible, the Old Testament, but in the New Testament, no, it's a new covenant. That's in all. Yeah, I'm joking. I'm Josh not, is Old Testament. Is the Bible? Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. you I'm can't joking split again. the Bible. Like, yeah. But the first I, and the second, it's like part one and part two. Right. It's like you got to watch all of the Godfather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> you know what I mean? But God's, <laughs> God's anger is not that of the anger that we think that we have. Like even when people talk about Jesus flipping the tables, like he went in on the Pharisees and he flipped the tables. I don't know if you're familiar with that story. Mm-hmm. Oh, but I like it. Yeah. Well, he, he went, <laughs> well, Christians love using the story when they get angry. <laughs> so uh, Jesus went into the table because they were selling uh, they were like merchants selling in the church. And Jesus was like, yo, y'all selling in my father's house? And he flipped the table and the change, the shekels <laughs> went everywhere. And, uh, but that wasn't anger. That was just perfect love. Like a father disciplines a child. Um, you can discipline without being angry, without being emotional about it. God, the way God would discipline us or people is not how we think anger like how we be having anger we justify oh i got righteous anger christians be like i got righteous anger i have the right to be angry you don't have the right to be angry especially not in the way that you think because it's a judgment any judgment you have is pretending to play god and if you play if you pretending to play god that's the sin so in your so basically you're saying there is no free will no free will at all yeah. great great point I know I'm listening to you because I ask people if you did have free will, then why can't you? Why don't you have the will to set yourself free? In what sense? Because that 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 went over my head for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't say it as smooth. Let me say it smoother. If you have free will, Mm -hmm. why don't you have the will to set yourself free? Meaning. Why would you ever, you, you, you talk to people and they'd be like, man, uh, think about when you get angry and you'd be like, I don't know what got into me. Something got into me, right? Once in your life, you've said that. Like, I don't know what got into me at that moment. And that's how you know it's a spirit that got into you. It's something that you believe to be true and then you acted upon it. But if, if you really had free will, why would you ever bring these type of thoughts, these type of emotions, this type of pain onto your life? Why would you ever do that if you truly had free will? Unless you're in love with your hell, which we all are. We're all in love with our hell. You try to wake someone up from their hell, they'll kill you. Okay, what religion are you? I'm a Christian. You're a Christian? And are they teaching this at your church? Well, no. Because I haven't heard, I haven't heard, like, the way you're thinking about it, I think it's... It's different. It's interesting too. I'm just curious. Yeah, but are Christians they, are they believe speak, in free will. Yeah, are they are, are they speaking like this at your church? No, Christians believe but, God gives then if, free if will. If that's not true, and you're not learning it from them, where did you learn this? And then why are you even following a religion that doesn't really have your same thoughts? Well, it does. Uh, Jesus said, "Let no man teach you." Jesus in the New Testament says, let no man teach you. We shouldn't have a teacher. We already have a teacher within us, which is the Holy Spirit. 
we we already have the revelation and God will reveal things to us. We don't need to think about it. When I came in here and the lights were on, I didn't need to think about the lights being on. I saw that the lights were on. Things need to be revealed to you, not thought about. And uh, the only reason why people, Christians specifically, they tell you you got free will. They tell you Jesus is God. They tell you uh, you'll always be a sinner. All these are not true. You talk a lot of shit about Christians for saying you're a Christian. Yeah, well, Jesus attacked. Are you a Christian? I am. Or are you but, like. But my main. Like a, but my main. You're uh, floating in and out of a couple things. No, nah, I'm 100% You read Christian. like all the books? I like don't, all even, the I don't books? even read the Bible that much. Like from what Jesus did when not, he was 13 to 33? That's another good thing for, for me to say. Well, to 30. But uh, hold on, real quick. That's another thing. The Bible is not the word of God, it's the word from God. So all these Christians who are just Bible thumpers, they're just like the Pharisees back in the day when Jesus was like, all you guys do is just read from the text, but you have no spirit. Your body hasn't been filled with the spirit. If you just read the text all day, you're just a Bible thumper. You're basically an atheist. Yeah, but you said you're Christian. Right, but the but Bible... your views are not. The Bible is not, is not vital in being a so Christian. So are you saying you're a Christian because you believe in Jesus? No, I'm a Christian because I'm a son of God through Christ coming back at being the second Adam. Jesus Christ is the second Adam. He came to restore the order, which the order was broken when, when Eve listened to the serpent, Adam listened to the woman, and we all are still in that right now. Well, it seems as though it didn't go well. You're right. For him Lord. resetting the, the structure. It's a narrow road. Seems as though it went, it's, <laughs> it's a narrow worse. road. Yeah, absolutely. Seems as though it's gotten worse absolutely. since he's been here. That's true. <laughs> but Christ came to restore the order, which is, if you're curious, God in Christ, Christ in man, man over woman, woman over children. But right now, we've made women our God. And as long as we've made women our God... Men, will, women, men I, will pay hell for it. And they we do make every day. women are God in what sense? Meaning that the minute that Eve listened to the serpent, okay. that became her God. The minute Adam listened to Eve, woman became man's God. Who's listening to Eve? Every man. I, I, every I, man. I, today. I don't listen to Eve. Most men today. You're an she exception. Got, she got fire mo- tracks, though. Most. Huh? She got fire <laughs> tracks. Check her out. I'm not listening to Eve. <laughs> Most Eve don't pay no bills at my house. <laughs> nice. None. Nice. None. And most men, though, they do. They've worshipped women. That's why we have such a high, uh, you know, pornography and all this stuff, because we've, we've idolized the woman. We've made the woman our God. And mm. it's because we've made our mothers our God. And because we made our mothers our God, we've made all women our God. We made our mothers our God? Right. In what sense? Well, it's just like a natural... Well, we idolize our mother or we worship our mother right. we in think, that sense? We think because that was our life source. So we, we, without even knowing it, we are like scared of our moms, really. Like we can't even say... You hear people say, I can't say nothing around mama. That's exactly how they are with their wives. It's nine o'clock. I got to be home before mama whoop me. I mean, that's the way Josh tends to lead his life, but I yeah. don't lead my life in that way. Well, you're an alpha all. male then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Eve don't pay no bills at my fucking house. Nice. And, you know, I like my mom, but I ain't let her make any business decisions for me ever. Nice. She got to be quiet and sit in the corner. Yeah. But you hear this, though. You hear people. You know what I'm talking about. When people no, are I know like, what you're talking you talk about, about my mama, I'm going to kill you. But I really don't know men that's really listening to their wives like that. I wouldn't listen to her at all. <laughs> well, maybe that's true. I, Are you listening to her? You know, me and my girl, we're not married. Um, and we're, you know, we both definitely have, well, I'll speak for me. I definitely have the Jezebel spirit in me. So I'm, I'm trying to overcome. We, we stop having sex at a wedlock. Um, and it's helped. Wait a minute. Y'all stop having sex. How long have y'all been together? Uh, three years. Three years, and when did you guys stop? Yesterday? Well, I want to say this because this is the, the, I always dreamed of saying a story on this podcast, actually. <laughs> okay, good. Let's go. Uh, let's, let's live out them dreams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because for 10 years, she's not going to like that I'm saying this, but 
for 10 years, this was the girl that I masturbated to. Like that's dope, though. all the time, yeah. Like that's and, dope. And every girl that I would get with well, it was like a bootleg version of her. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, you got the girl you wanted. Well, so here's how God is funny, right? We start dating. I become born again Christian in the midst of us dating. She has her journey of becoming born again, and now we're not even having no sex out of wedlock. <laughs> 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 so it's like God got a sense of humor, you know. God funny in that way. But um, I still wanted to know when y'all stop having sex. Yeah, I just wanted that clip. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, I'm just talking. But uh, yeah, we stopped. We stopped about like uh, about a year ago. But we've slipped up or whatever. But we try to stay conscious. You know, it's like uh, there was something that Ye said. So are y'all just roommates? No, we don't live together. You can't. You can't live before marriage. Mm. Um, it's just degenerate. You know, you can, but it's just degenerate. And um, I, I kind of like that. How does it feel? Because you said she was an ex porn star. You keep these hoes yeah. out the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put down. We not married. <laughs> I don't want to be a Stay degenerate. Your ass over there. Here's your money. <laughs> <laughs> like, has that uh, affected the relationship at any point? Uh, like, because I, I, there's a lot of insecure men that cannot get. Past a woman's past, how yeah. have you been able to navigate that? Oh yeah, nah, that part, that part mad easy for me because I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I, that's interesting. I don't even really be thinking about it. Yeah, like I'm just like a fan. Like you know, I love like I'm a fan of this podcast. I'm a fan of like my whole life. You know, some there's a publicist this morning. I don't want to say her name because I'm still gonna hire her, but she's like. You know, the narrative doesn't need to keep being you and Dame so much. You and Dame, you and Dame. It needs to be about your music, and you need to stop using the narrative of you and Dame. And uh, it's like, this whole thing is a dream to me, bro. Like, Dame Dash, like, is like a superhero to me. Uh, me He's a superhero, though. Yeah. Me he being, go hard. Me being in the room with, with Ye, playing my music. Me being on Big Boy, any of these moments, me being on this show right now, man, me dating the poor star, like, this is all a dream, bro. You're not going to tell her her name, are you? Well, her real name. No, no, we, are, we oh, wanted yeah. the poor star Well, you star can look, name. it's on my Instagram. Okay. She's, like, in my videos and shit. Okay. Uh, you'll know. If, if you into black, uh, like, if you into black, like, heaters from, like, yeah. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but which is so funny because like I'm on the fence about race mixing. I don't know how I feel about race mixing, but me and her be joking about that. But um, I like this guy. This, uh, guy, this, guy, this guy is fucking wild. I like this guy. This guy is wild. He's on the fence about a bunch of shit. Yeah. His, his, his mom is Jewish. His dad is Muslim. There's conflict there. He's dead. The poor star. I'm really fucking loving this babies, guy. But I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> date a black girl. <laughs> yeah, but it's all trauma, you know. But my point is, is the like, real question, uh, though, with all the, the mixing you already have, how are you not gonna be able to mix your genes? Well, that's right. And that, you're and already that, mad mix. You're right. And that's it's too late for you. That's part of the gen. <laughs> it's too late for you, bro. That's, you gotta choose a path and then make your kids stay down that path. That's yeah. the only way back. Yeah, and that's part of the. De- <laughs> that's part of the degeneracy that's been promoted. Promoted by the uh, the 109, but uh, <laughs> but I'm just joking. I'm joking. We can edit some of this stuff out. But my point is that nothing what, what, is what, edited yeah, out. What I, was, <laughs> what I was saying was that uh, uh, about Dane being a superhero and yay. And I was just telling this girl, I'm like, man, you don't understand. Like, yeah, we trying to promote the music and stuff like that, but. Me being able to mention my name as many times as possible with Damon Dash, as many narratives as humanly possible. Uh, you still working with Dame? I, yeah, I, man, I would never put out an album where Dame Dash is not speaking on the intro. <laughs> like, I feel like that should be the way for every artist who, uh, especially if it's someone that people know and they know that there was some sort of connection, like. You know, like, yay, shouldn't do no album without Jay and Dame talking on a, you know, or Drake. He should have Wayne on every intro. <laughs> but uh, how did you meet Dame? Um, you know, I was working with, 
with Ye. And um, at one point, I was being managed by Good Music as a producer mm -hmm. um, and a guy, uh, Che Pope. Um, and I was just kind of in the mix, like, you know, always making beats, working on Tiana Taylor's album. Um, yeah, working on different projects. And I was out in Wyoming. And I'm like, man, this is lit. Like, we in, we in Jackson Hole. Right. We like, this is a right. vibe. And, uh, and I had, like, five beats on Tiana Taylor's album. I'm like, man, it's about to be lit. <laughs> and, uh, and then Ye started making beats and then produced the whole album and all my beats got uh, scrapped. <laughs> but, <laughs> but Dame was out there in Wyoming. And, um, and I had seen Dame a few times before that. Uh -huh. And I had mentioned to him, like, yo, I'm working with Ye on some stuff and blah, blah, blah. But he probably hears that all the time. So he probably was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And then he seen me in Wyoming and was like, oh, shit. Like, you really out here. And, uh, and yeah, we were just chopping it up. And then he was like, yo, come through my spa in Burbank when we get back. And, um, and uh, yeah, and I was out there for a little, uh, a few more days. And then when I went back, um, yeah, I was just playing him a bunch of music and... I threw this, uh, I threw this like event and I had a bunch of people come through and like, he was like, man, how you know John Monopoly and how you know, uh, you know, GLC. There was like all these like characters that was coming through and um, he was like, man, you like in the mix. So the point is he was like, man, what you want, like what you want to do? And I was like, man, I want to put out my album. He was like, you got an album? And I was like, yeah. He was like, wait, you rap? I thought you just made beats. Mm -hmm. And I was like, nah, man, I got I got songs, bro, you know? And he's like, man, play it. And I remember playing him the album. He was like, Ye heard this? And I was like, nah, you know, I don't be like, the quickest way to get kicked out is be pushing your agenda while right. you're on Ye's time. So I just be, you know, I don't even be opening my mouth when I be on, on that type of time. But I was like, nah he, ain't nah, he ain't really heard it. And Dame was like, I bet. And he called Ye right then and there. And was like, yo, you need to come through and hear this. And that's the documentary that I have dope. of like me playing the whole album for yay. But that's who Dame is. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, he he about now. Now. Yeah, he's like nah nah. Let's do it now. Let's yeah. go. That's that's what he all about. Yeah, and it's like there's so many people that I was around that was around yay that I knew for years that could have done that right. Well, maybe they couldn't have done it because Dame is Dame. So maybe no one else could have done that, but. Uh, yeah, Dame did it just like that, like you said. And it's like, I, j just that alone, it's like, this man, but it ain't even that. It's like, this man stood next to me, you know, we went on Big Boy, and it's like, this man stood next to me, and it's like, it's risky to stand next to me. Because I'm like, in a lot of ways, I'm like a liability, you know what I mean? Like, there's things I be no, saying. No, you're saying some wild shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, like for the, real. Yeah, the things I be saying, <laughs> and, you know... And even, like, a lot of the music is, like, could be looked at as, like, controversial or whatever. So, man, it's like, he's so confident in him. He's so definitive on who Damon Dash is that he's just like, yo, like, if you don't, I don't give a fuck what anyone else is going to say to me or, or try to, like, nah, like, dope is dope. And so, yeah. But I wanted to just say that real quick because, and I know I'm talking a lot, but it's like, I just wanted to say real quick in that uh, even wearing this shirt right now, I'm wearing this shirt because this is from Paid and Fool. This is Cameron's character, Rico, from mm -hmm. Paid and Fool. And it's like with everything that Cam's doing right now with buying the Rockefeller thing, it's like that's what I'm talking about. Did he actually buy it? I heard well, they allegedly. did. I heard it's they all did. Allegedly. Yeah, it's all allegedly. <laughs> Oh, okay. But, Dame but I thought we started, said it last Dame time. They didn't started, do it. Dame even started talking about allegedly. He said he's gonna sell it, but like, he kind of. It's one interview I saw him saying some shit about it, and he was yeah. like, then he had to go back and say, well, you know, allegedly, yeah, 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 yeah. this is happening. I like what Cameron is doing too. Me yeah. too. He's making real moves, and that's my point in what I'm saying about like respect. Like we gotta respect. Like Cam. Cam knows what Dame did for him. Like, forget them growing up together. He knows what he did for him when, when you know, whatever was going on at the other right. label before Rockefeller, Dame came in and, and you know. He showed love every time, though. Right. Every time. Yeah. He always showing love. And it's like, that's what I'm talking about, man. Like, what Cam's doing. 
And it's like, even with Ye in the Big Boy interview, I, the last point, he talking about all this independence. He talking about all this, like, uh, when we figure out how to cut out the middleman thing, how you not mention the Dame Dash, bro? Like, that's true. You know what I mean? This man been fighting on this battle for 20 years, saying that exact thing to you. I've seen it. And it's like, you know, and I know he does right by him. I'm not like, but I'm just saying, like, as a fan of Ye and as a fan of Dame and as a fan of the culture, I'm like, man, it would be dope right now in this moment for you to be like making that like a, a public thing with Dame. Hey, like, man. Watch out now. You saw Dame come into Kai's DMs, didn't you? Or, uh, Kanye. Kanye. Yeah. Come into Kai's DMs. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> you see it? Um, yeah. You know Kai, that, uh, the streamer. Like, streamer guy? The short streamer. He put on a big ass pair like he ordered some gays. <laughs> and it was big as fuck. Didn't fit him. And he was just like, can I get a new pair? <laughs> and Kanye fucking blasted him in his DMs. Like, why are you saying a bunch of shit and fuck right. you? And the guy's like, I just asked for another pair. And he's like, this kid's like hilarious because he's it's like, no, and he's like showing the DMs and shit. That's funny. I like, heard about it, but in the end, Kanye's like, fuck you. <laughs> like, nah, I love Ye, man. I'm the number one fan. I'm the number one. Anytime I've been around him, it's been a blessing and a and like unreal. Like, I can't even believe it. You know what I mean? And I got the pods on right now. There you go. And I do like the samples better than these, but he'll get it right. This is what he does. He... You know, he does versions of things, you know, and he'll get it. He'll get it to where he did you get him on the album, your album. Well, there are verses. And, and now that like he's gone from Def Jam, I don't know. Maybe we can use them. I'm not like I always was like, well, I don't know if there's like stipulations because of Universal. But now that all that's gone, we might have to resurrect some of them. Uh, yeah, the vocals. Okay. Yeah. So you do have some records, but you don't know if they're clear just yet. Well, yeah, we have like even in the dock with a lot of the music that we're putting out this month, um, I'm producing a lot of it, but like this record called anything is possible. Um, he wrote it. Um, and, uh, and I got like, I got a lot of stuff with justice league and bink, you know, who did like the, a lot of the mm -hmm. blueprint. So like a lot of just super hip hop stuff is coming in the next like 60 days. Cause it's like, I think sometimes people be hearing me talk and they'd be like, Oh, well, maybe he not really like about, uh, like Barcelona, like I'm really about like bars, you know what I mean, and like and chopping samples, and like I'm really about that, you know. And sometimes I do some auto tune stuff, so it might get lost in like, oh, is he really about the? Well, here's my question for you, and you <laughs> like I got a couple other friends as well that do music and are super spiritual people, yeah, and you know have these irregular views you could call yeah, yeah, <laughs> in yeah. the world. Uh, is there a space for that, you think? Or is it just ratchet music that makes money? And I don't see, like, it's never, like, a commercially viable, except Kanye. And he only did a one album, and, like, now he's not doing, like, Christian music no more or right. not even pumping that, really. Right, right. Like he used to. So is there a space for that, even, do you think? Or are you push, going to push more out of that? Because a lot of your music is, like, just talking about God, yeah. Satan, shit like that. You yeah, know, like yeah. the shit we talking in this podcast, but over a beat. Yeah, you're right. So is there a space for that, you think, or not? Because, like, rhythm, rhythm does that, too. Like, no, rhythm no. raps like that, and it's a super spiritual thing, and it's, like, for a certain community, but it's not, in my opinion, commercially viable yeah, to yeah, be yeah. getting to the top of where all you guys want to be. Yeah, that's interesting. You know, like I love Ratchet too. It's like it's a balance between. And it's not just like I'm not just saying just yeah. just Ratchet, but you know what I'm saying. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's there's never like a guy friendly like, album that's people are pumping out of the fucking. Yeah, but you know it's funny because like it's a balance. Kind of it's a balance between righteousness and ratchetness. You know, it's like I'm going to church with my porn star girlfriend. Like I, I <laughs> you know. I, I'm saying like we yeah. gotta we gotta just be human beings, right? And it's like we That's the shit you should be rapping about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, like gotta, forget the Bible stuff and like the high spirit stuff. You need to be doing videos with like you and your girl going to church and Porsche yeah. like super ratchet swaying a little bit on the church. That's side. a good idea. You don't like that super sleazy uh uh, pastor they always have in like movies but he's yeah. like ah he's got like the six girlfriends and he's kind of like a pimp yeah. yeah 
Yeah. That's what oh, you, you should mean do. like Joel Osteen? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say Joel Osteen. I'm kidding. I'm joking. I love Joel. He doesn't have the vibe, you well, know? <laughs> well, if we, get the, if we get the crew and everything, you know, I, need, I might need you to direct it. <laughs> All right, let's yeah, go. Oh, yeah. He'll direct it for sure. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we can have like a priest, a, 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 a sheikh, and a rabbi. Hell yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. That'd so, be great. But it's like, yeah, I agree with you. But I also think that it's a balance between righteousness and ratchetness. But it's also like, you know, we all be we all be talking about that it's we live in a world of just uh, debauchery and degeneracy. But in real life, the top rappers still are Drake, J. Cole, Kendrick, uh, Kanye. Yeah, yeah, still at, you know... So it's like, but it's yeah, not. it feels that way on Instagram, and it feels that way. Like, look, Killer Mike, even though I don't even like the album, but Killer Mike just won a Grammy for a very spiritual, like, you know. And I get what you're saying. Like, on Instagram, it definitely doesn't feel that way. Like, it feels like there's no hope for any sort of fun. <laughs> well, it's not even Instagram. It's, like, new music. Like, I make playlists all day yeah. long for, like, I teach fitness, so yeah. I make a playlist, too. So I'm in New Music Friday every fucking Friday, and it's yeah. like, you know, it's not a lot of great music coming yeah. out anymore. Yeah. Or, and like, I any type of music that has substance doesn't seem to get through in the same way as just, like, you know, commercially it's viable needed, shit. Though. Like, fuck yeah. that. It's needed. We need a balance. You and can't I, just. And I don't think you need to be preaching or, like, beating anybody across the head with the Bible. Mm. I promote not reading the Bible. So I'm like a very. I'm not even beating nobody across the head. I'm not like D1 or like, uh, you know, or like Chance the Rapper, where it's like I'm telling you, like e selling you Easter eggs and shit. Like, <laughs> th 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 this is still reality. This is still like real life. And I'm like, I'm really in the, I'm really in it. Like I'm in the in the mix of it. I'm in the trenches of it. So it's like, I'm not saying I'm holier than now. I'm saying like, no, we dealing with it. And and we got other records. Like it ain't just all by God, but. It is about like um, in order for you to really be top tier, you do got to have some connection to like you think about Rakim Allah or you think about like uh, Jehovah. It's always something with God that these MCs like you got to really be like top tier. You do got to be looked at as like you walking on water. You know what I mean? Like you you, you capable of doing that. It don't mean that you have to do it all the time, but people got to know in order for you to really be like looked at as like that guy, you got to be on that, you know, like Drake. I don't even know how people put Kendrick and J. Cole in the same conversation as Drake. It's actually disrespectful. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. J. Cole's the best, best dude out. I no, think. Drake is smoking. No, he, yeah. Drake is smoking Kenny in Ken numbers. No, but. he's smoking Kenny and J Cole in bars. You crazy? Yeah. And, in, and in everything. But did he write it? Crazy oh as hell. Oh my god. He is not smoking. This is, this is worse than the Black Jew he conversation. He is not smoking J Cole. J in Cole any crazy. Bars. All right. Drake? No, okay. No, no. Drake? Listen, listen, listen. Name your I'm top, sorry. I'm sorry. That top five rappers. So let's hear it. Yeah. Let's hear your top five. You walked into that one. I'm sorry that Drake makes music for people who actually get pussy, and Kendrick and J. Cole make music for people who work but at the post office. you don't get pussy. You don't get pussy. Yeah, you say I don't get pussy. <laughs> but I get more pussy than you because you ain't even you, fucking. You ain't. You ain't. You're not even you fucking. You came up pussy a year ago. Don't you ever talk about pussy. You you gave it up? <laughs> you traitor? <laughs> this is my choice, though. This is my choice. Um, no, no, what is your yeah. top five rappers? All time or? All, All time. time. Drake? Drake, Drake, Drake. <laughs> da, uh, what's that, like, Dylon, Dylon? Dylon, Dylon, yeah. I just saw how he just said, like, that destroyed his yeah, life. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that too. <laughs> Dylon, there was a real Dylon. I didn't even know yeah. that. I just yeah. thought it was a fake Dylon. <laughs> yeah, um, top five, man. I don't know, like, come on, you in this every day. Man, this is what you do, like, obviously, like, just just rapping or just overall. I just who's your favorite? Come on, man, you know what the question means. Well, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite and best are different, but I'll just say my favorite. Uh, what best and favorite is different. Michael mm. Jordan, the best, Allen Iverson was my favorite. Okay. <laughs> right? Like, um, uh, 
I mean, obviously, I got to say... Well, my favorite. Don't obviously. Okay. This, this is, is like, you. Okay. Wait, 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 man, I thought you were doing your favorite. Yeah, who uh, who 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 has affected your so this is your five. favorites. Yeah, the, who, not the favorites, best. The my, favorites, my favorites, who have affected me the most, and it's obvious. But that means you have to have interaction with those people. So I don't know if that's fair to all the rappers out there. No, I mean who affected me as a, as affected oh. me as a as yeah. a kid, like go as a fan. Okay, I just okay, yeah. go on. I happened to. I had to start thinking. I was like, I have to have interacted with almost all of these. But, yeah, but, that's uh, how I figured. Yeah, but but no, no. But just as a fan, I'm talking about like that molded me as an artist. The okay. Most. So it's obviously Yay. It's Cameron number two. I don't see no pink on you. <laughs> I actually have. A, I'm gonna switch <laughs> into a hoodie. Uh, uh, Jay. Yeah, it's Yay Cam Jay. Two more. I, I can't give two more right now. What? Can we, can we go back to it? Wait, can I can I get a quick second? Okay. Okay. You only East Coast? Who's good on who's good in LA? No. Oh, God damn. Wow. Who's who's ever been good in LA? Ever? Oh. Ice Cube wasn't good. God. I don't know. It wasn't for me. Nipsey? Nipsey wasn't good? Uh, I mean, I guess there were some songs on Marathon. Glasses Malone has been on every single person's list who came in here. He did. Shocking. He seems like a yeah, nice guy. It's, it just, seems it's like not for me. <laughs> yeah, it's just not for me. Well, you got to come up with two more. Like, I definitely would not have Pac. Pac is my one of my favorite human beings, but he's not in my top 50 rappers. See, you're crazy. He ain't uh, in top 50? Nah. Top you got, 50. But he top five human beings you of all time. You gotta explain yourself. He, like, right, he was a way worse human being, I feel like, than he, a rapper. He, right after, he, he like, like, said a lot of great things, but he was like he, beating... He ran you know. below like Jesus on people for me, but... Uh, Jesus and then Tupac, but he's yeah. not a great rapper. Nah, but music, he's not even top 50, nah. That's crazy. Biggie, no. I like Biggie, but it just wasn't really my like. I don't know. Like we're I, not getting, we're not just gonna go past this. You yeah. need to explain yourself on why <laughs> yeah. Tupac Shakur is not in, in your, your top, top 50. fifty because he didn't five have, zero. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you he, can't even name sixty two rappers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could because uh, he didn't have a he didn't have a Puffy. He didn't have a Rick Rubin. He didn't have a he didn't have someone who who could. Um, he didn't have a Quincy Jones, you know, he, he was so, he had so much going on in his spirit that he just couldn't sit still. He couldn't, he couldn't listen. And, and that's why I love him as a person, but it, music hinders because of that. So all eyes on me is trash. I mean, that's a trash you, album. I, it's just messy. It's not Ugh, very concise. Damn. It's not concise. <laughs> and I also don't like, I also don't like Ugh. that. I also don't like that. Like we could have different vibes. But you can't have uh, changes and ambitions as a rider back to back. It can be on different albums, but it can't be like changes is it, not on. Well, whatever all eyes it is, but me. you know what I'm talking about the sentiment. No, like, I don't know what you're talking about because I'm it's not about, on the same album. Yeah, yeah I'm changes about, <laughs> isn't on that album. But I'm talking about the sentiment of like he got a song where it's like Brenda's got a baby, but then it's also like I get around. That's why Brenda got the baby. Yeah, <laughs> but the music <laughs> is the, amazing. Is the duality of men? No, nah, yeah. But, yeah, but it's but it's got to be like an evolution. You don't like him because like he loved his mom, huh? I think that he died because he had the spirit of his mother and he was angry. Yeah, him and Biggie both love their moms. Well, they didn't love them; they hated their mothers. But but here's the point: is That's it, wild. It, here's the point. <laughs> the, Holy shit. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Far, Wallace. As far as Tupac, I understood what he was saying. Yeah, that well, was... it's the same thing with Ye. Ye needs to, you know, all people like we need to forgive our mother because if not, we'll be controlled by that spirit. But here's the thing, because I was like joking with my boy. I was like, man, you know, it's like Donda, Donda, Donda. Where's Ray? You even know who Ray is? The dad? Oh, okay, good. So I saw anyway. him on the music video when yeah, he did the yeah, yeah. Christian album. Okay, so my point is, uh, yeah, but I like Pac. Doesn't seem like it. I love him as a, I put him second after Jesus. <laughs> I can't do nothing more than that. So you got your other two rappers now? I, I, you, 
You very yeah. Your, I have to. I have to think about it more. It's a big deal to, to come do that. on. You gotta think about yeah. it more. You gotta think about your top rappers you like the most. I mean, you're not even that. It's not even the best. It's oh, not even oh, Drake. Okay, okay, you got one more. Yeah. Drake, so, you so forgot you got, about Drake. He's so, so good, you, you said, forgot about yeah. him. So you got, you got holes. Because I ain't been getting no pussy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I haven't been listening to him. It ain't been playing, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, yeah. And then, I mean, I guess I'll just, yeah, I, I, we'll think of the last one, but yeah. Mm. This thing has been staying in my mind, so I just need the answer. It's a little off topic, but since you started dating, your, you know, your girlfriend, have you gone back to her old porn videos and masturbated, or, yeah. or is that's it like, fair? Yes, that's fair. That yes. is fair. When we be fighting, that's how I know sex is really out of anger and hatred. Uh, we be fighting, and then like, yeah, I be going back to some of them, 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 <laughs> them, them specials, them, them joints that really, you know, they're nostalgic. You know, it's like it's like the greatest hits. Um, that got, that don't put you in a weird space just a little. <laughs> nah, because I know that whatever's controlling me at that moment is already like I already know that's like uh, that's the thing that I gotta overcome, and I know that that's that's not really why. Like, I need to overcome that in general with her. You know what I mean? Because uh, when we don't have sex, like it, it she'd be calmer, she'd be more rational, she'd be like, it'd be more of like a, it'd be more of like a calm place. You know what I mean? So you said we all are. Mm. That's the complete in opposite love of with our mothers, right? Historical. Yeah, historical and we all marry in our mothers. <laughs> so then you saying now you're dating a porn star? Yeah. Does your was your mom in any of that stuff back in the day? Oh no 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 no! Oh, okay. Nah nah nah. But but it's the same spirit though. Like the fact she that had the spirit of a porn star. <laughs> no, I doubt that very seriously. <laughs> Christian with the spirit of a porn <laughs> star. <laughs> the well, duality of women. Well, no, because um, the fact that my mother turned me away from my father. Mm. Um, the same way that Eve turned Adam away from his father. You know, Eve was like, you don't need, you don't need to listen to your daddy. You, be your own man. I love you. So he listened to the woman. And anytime you listen to the woman, you shall suffer. That's what the word that's says. That's the truth. Yeah. So because my mother turned me away from my father, which all mothers do. Um, nah, my mom didn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. My well, mom that's a, did. That's a decent your mom woman. Did? Yeah. Josh, well, your parents still together. Yeah. Yeah, but my my mom never hated on my dad ever. Yeah. But even innately, like pushed what? themselves away. <laughs> I was I was happy the motherfuckers broke up. Trust me, the house got quieter. <laughs> but even innately, like we'll start to look at our father through our mother's eyes. Like even if our father tries to discipline us, and then once he's done disciplining us, the mother will come over and be like, "Oh, baby." Blah, blah, blah. That's a form of uh, turning turning you away from the father without even you knowing it. That's, I know. that's real, though. That's real. Yeah. I never got the baby. Yeah. You said what? I never got the baby. <laughs> yeah. My mother didn't do that shit either. She, she was the one who called my dad to yeah. come kick ass. Exactly. It's that time. That's right. Nice. Dad's <laughs> truck rolls in. It's like... Yeah, she would have came over there banging me. I'm like, motherfuckers, he here because of you. <laughs> She got a list of shit for that motherfucker, like a Santa Claus list when he gets home. My dad's a truck driver. Oh, nice. He'd be going out, come back, fucking house tighten up. Shout out to the truckers, man. They keep the country, uh, they keep the country going, and it's like it's sad I hear about these stories about truckers, man. And it's like I know I heard if they weren't truckers, this whole industry would just shut down. All of America just shut down without it. It's right. I think you told me that, but sh- That's right. Because yeah. you know I got the truck stop idea. I know. But we won't talk Maybe. about it. I don't, want people, I don't want people to be stealing my shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But also, it's like, on the parents thing, it's like any parents that send their children to public schools um, is child abuse. Damn. Child abuse? Yeah. And, but what I if they cannot uh, public school. Like, like, they cannot uh, afford private. Well, the mother should be... Uh, raising the mother should be mm-hmm. teaching the kid. What well, if your mother didn't graduate? What I'm saying is like the the problem right now we have in in society is women 
are going to work jobs to try to be equal with men to fulfill their ego. And the children suffer because the kids end up in daycare or they end up in public school where they're getting taught all this, you know, critical race theory and all this junk. So are you going to marry your porn star girlfriend? You know, whatever, whatever. The Whoa. It's a loaded question. I don't know if we want to put that out on the air. If she's going to be watching, oh, no, she, maybe you got some plan. No, no, I don't no. know if you guys talk about it. No. Well, it What's I mean, that? I'm sure you guys are talking about. It. They've been together for three years. That's, well, that's, that's, all, that's all. That, that was tough. I agree. That was tough. Yeah. But he said he has mishaps every now and then. It could be a mishap every week. Bro, you know. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Nah, she be talking about it a lot. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you go to church with her? We do go to church a lot, but um, what kind of church do you go to? Are you just sitting there like that's bullshit? <laughs> nah, yeah, I, right, bro. Nah, I like that. You be throwing so, your own stuff in there. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Nah, I like because like my pastor, um, you know, we always joke because. We have a joke where, like, we say the worst thing in American history was allowing women the right to vote. That's funny. <laughs> and it's not really a joke. <laughs> That's why it's funny. Yeah, what church uh, is this? <laughs> yeah. But also, but also, you know, I really, I really think we got to get to a place to where if you don't own land, you shouldn't vote. Like, back in the good old days. Because uh, it's like too many people just think they have, like, the entitlement. Like, you didn't even get my fucking change right. At Best Buy. What the fuck do you think you should be voting on the country? You know what I mean? So I think men in general, uh, if you if you don't own land, you shouldn't vote. Women women shouldn't vote. But uh, do you own land? Do I? No. Sometimes you're just working against your own interests. No, but 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 that that doesn't mean that. That's to my point, though, is that there's a lot of people, especially like you are a little confusing. Though. I, mean, I mean, just 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 a little, just a hair. What's just entertainment? Hair. You contradict yourself. Like, Fuck I mean, myself well, too. Yeah, it's but like, I don't want to vote. Mean it, but it means that one day I like, will. You don't want to have sex, but you're in a relationship with a porn star. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, it's probably the whole duality and growing up <laughs> thing. Was your dad like praying like like Muslims pray like how many times a yeah, day? Yeah, five times a day. Five yeah. times a day. And you just in there just playing video games? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> While he in the corner? Yeah. <laughs> like praying to but the I sun. used to kind of be interested. I used to be like, yeah. oh, why? Wow, that's like... What does your name mean? And your mom was like, Hassan? your mom was yeah. like, nah, fuck that. <laughs> Jesus don't do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> she hated it in the background. <laughs> yeah, that was legitimately the funniest thing I've ever seen. That was that funny. <laughs> I love that. Jesus would never bow his knees. <laughs> in the background. Talking shit. Yeah, you know. Uh, but I want to know what your name means. Though. Oh yeah, Hassan just means like uh, like beautiful. Oh okay. Yeah, like handsome. Okay. Yeah. Um, why she name you? My, my dad. Well, well. Why was she like? She was running shit. She was like fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, name him this. Yeah. Name him Billy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. It's supposed to be George. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Well. Clearly, your dad was running shit at some point. Well, no. You, you when know, you were born, he was yeah, making decisions. Yeah, he was running shit, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you fucked it up for your dad. Yeah. What about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yes. Uh, yeah, Hassan, you know, it's interesting. And it's like, it's funny how much Jesus caused so much debate in the house mm. at, at, at one age i remember i was like whoever this jesus guy is <laughs> he just be causing so much problems <laughs> in my house <laughs> and uh like i felt like like forrest gump is like that what a menace yeah <laughs> but but it's funny because now i can have conversations with my mother and my father and we all three have different differences on what Jesus is. Mm -hmm. So like my mother thinks Jesus is God, like most Christian or, you know, and my father says he's a prophet that was, you know, that came as a messenger. And I look at Jesus. I know he's not, he's not God, um, but he's the son of God. So 
my dad disagrees with me <laughs> and my mom, but um, don't you think that's wild on how like that makes like that argument is the difference in like three religions. That's the only thing that separates everyone. What they think Jesus is, either the son of God or just a prophet or whatever. It's a uh, labeling of a dude which separates so many people. I but they believe the, the same. They literally right. believe the same thing. He was a prophet. He created. Nobody argues that yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. They only argue what part, like what's his label? That's right. the only thing they argue to make them different. Well, Which is crazy to me. Yeah, no, and that's a good point. And my father would actually get, would really love to have that conversation with you because he's very intellectual, not like me. Like he's like the smart version of me. So he would love to give you a proper answer on that. But the the real difference is though that um, like Muslims don't believe that we're all born into sin because of Adam. They think that we're all responsible for our own and we we don't take on the curse of adam so because they don't believe they that we take on the curse of adam they don't believe that christ was able to take away all that for everyone also and as christians we believe that we're before christ we were under we couldn't get back to god after adam we had fallen and we were separated from the father Christ came so that we can make, so it could be a way back to God. Jews believe this too. It's just that they don't believe Jesus is the Messiah, but they're right. waiting for that person to connect them back directly to God. Um, yeah, he'll be coming through on a white donkey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so regardless if you think he's the son or if you think he's this, um, really understand that he's the second Adam to come and redeem us back to God. And you ever to, read about like the eighteen other people that have the same exact story of Jesus throughout all different cultures? I've Born only heard to a virgin. Yeah, I've only heard curse, it from another earth creating miracles. I've only heard it from another. Uh, from Bill Maher, <laughs> who is a Jew, but he's an atheist, which is interesting that they a lot of them tend to become atheists. Um, but yeah, it's. And that's fine. People can believe whatever they want. Like, we shouldn't be in the business of trying to convince anyone of anything. Like, do you believe in history? I think that story ends. I don't really believe that history repeats itself, like what people say. And I think that we focus too much on history because the past really doesn't exist. The past and the future don't exist. It's only the now. It's all an illusion. It doesn't exist. And so many people are. So when you say it doesn't exist, are you saying it does? It didn't happen. But that would be free will. It happened then, but now you're only living. If we're living in the moment, that would be free will, and that would go against what you were saying earlier, because everything would already have to exist if we didn't have free will. It's already planned out, and we're following that path. But that's not. So either the future exists, or if the future doesn't exist, that's free will. We're creating the future. But it's not about free will. Every decision that you've ever made in your life, this is super, super important. This is like the best thing. It's every single decision and choice that you've ever made in your life, you've been under the influence. That's real. It's never really you making the choice or decision. You are under the influence. You are possessed by either good or evil and influenced by thoughts. So, when okay, I was agreeing with you. I didn't know you was going to go good or evil. I thought you meant based upon what's happened to you thus far in life. Yes. Affects your decision making process. I do. That's what I mean. Okay. But you said good and evil though. Because. That part threw me off. Because the things that we're influenced by, for the most part. Are you saying the bad and good things that happen to you? Well, and even to say that anything that's happened to you is good or bad is really relative. But the thoughts that you're coming in, that are coming into you are all bad. And all your decisions and choices are being influenced by thoughts. You're under the influence if you're lost in your imagination. Mm. The imagination is taking you into the future with anxiety, and it's pulling you into the past with depression or, or whatever it is. The only way to truly be present is to be in the now and be in the presence, we would say, of God. The devil uses the past and the future because he can't be in the presence of God. So when you die, where do you go? What happens? Well, I'm never going to die. Okay. Um, 
Like, well, we like just everlasting life. We're a spirit. I'm not my body. You know, all these women that be screaming, my body, my choice. Bitch, it ain't your body. It's God's body. This, that's not your body. The problem is we identify with all these things. We identify with our body. We identify with our thoughts. We identify with, with our ego, with who we think we are, labels and things like that. And the reason why people do that is because they wouldn't know who they were without it. Mm. You wouldn't know who you were without your thoughts. If you kept your mind where your body was, try it one day. Walk around and try to keep your mind where your body is. And see how many times you drift off. It's because we, we wouldn't know who we are. It, it feels so good to be in our hell. You know, Jesus told a crippled dude in the Bible, this dude was like, I just want to walk. I just want to walk. And Jesus said, get up and walk then. The problem is people like being crippled. People like being victims. People like being Democrats. <laughs> Come here. What I'm saying is like people enjoy victimhood mentality. They enjoy their hell. You try to take someone out of their hell, they will kill you. They will literally kill you. You try to tell someone, hey, what's anger doing for you? Well, you being angry, what's that doing for you? Like this is uh, my boy be like, yo, don't bring that dude around. He be making me angry. I say, he don't make you angry. He shows you that you have anger. Okay. You should thank that man. We just got to be mirrors for one another. That's why like this podcast is great. And people who do podcasts is like, it's like a mirror for people. You know, I am about to rock your world. Babe, you know, you can't handle all of this without your sword. I swear this never happens. I guess I'll just text Lance a lot. He never has this problem. No, I am King Arthur. I was worthy of Excalibur, and I'm worthy of sword vitality! Now that is a sword fit for a king. But do you know how to use it? Become a better man with sword vitality. you got going on what you got coming up what about the american new shit you working on a show you got a show too? oh yeah shout, the music? Shout, out, shout out to uh rob weiss um who you know he did entourage and um ballers and uh what's that other show he did oh made in america he did like all those shows and um yeah like he he, he we've been working on um we did the pilot together. Really, I went to his, I was like, yo, bro, could I like show you the script to this pilot that I have? It's kind of like my version of Kirby Enthusiasm. <laughs> and, uh, and, Great show. Yeah, and I was like, it's like my version of that, but it's like um, about me and Dame and stuff like that. Dame and I, proper, uh, my mother's an English teacher, so like Dame <laughs> and I. Uh, and he was like, yeah, come by the crib and show me the script. And, you know, Entourage, this is another dream. You know what I mean? This is like, man, if I could go sit with Rob Weiss, who did Entourage, like, for my stupid pilot idea. <laughs> so I went to his crib, and I'm, like, showing him the script. Um, and he was like, yo, this should be in the pilot. And I'm like, what? He's like, you coming to my house and pitching me the show. And, um... So that's yeah, dope. so we so we filmed that, and that's like the pilot episode. It's like me pitching the pilot. Yeah. That's dope. <laughs> yeah, that's good. yeah. So yeah, so I think that's available on American New, and uh, yeah, shout out to Dame. We have like this documentary for the album. Uh, the album is called The Second Coming. Um, I'm working on a project with Justice League. Uh, straight, just Justice League and I straight raps. Then I'm doing a project with uh with Bink. Actually, we're coming out with this song in two weeks where it's Vic Mensa, who I think is funny because he's like signed to Jay-Z. And then it's like me who has this like thing with Dame and then Bink who produced like 
the blueprint for Jay is producing the song. <laughs> so it's like, that's like the headline for like that song. Uh -huh. um, yeah. And we just, yeah, we just got like, uh, yeah, hopefully a bunch of stuff coming, Lord willing. All right. America, America knew. What do you know about the network Dame's working on and all that kind of stuff? Is your shit you being pumped through there? Is that where you're going to put the show through or like it? Any of that type of stuff? Yeah. I see I you shouting like, it out. I feel like you just asked me that. Yeah, but yeah. Is, uh, you, you talked about the show, but not oh, like, okay, my bad, is my it bad, coming out Maybe I went, yeah. on the network? Yes, or? I think the pilot is actually available now. You can go watch it. Oh, the pilot's okay, there, sure. and um, and yeah, we're, we, we're editing a few more episodes, and we're shooting some more. Uh, I had one episode that I got like... I got bar mitzvahed, and because uh, I play in I play in this all Jewish baseball league, uh, and and they bar mitzvahed me, and then like we we had a Shabbat dinner. And you like actually that. playing at all Jewish baseball yeah. league or in the pilot? No, in real life. What the fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because during the Chinese virus, uh, they had took down <laughs> the Chinese virus. Is so goddamn funny. <laughs> Wait, did you get vaccinated? Of course not. Yeah. Are that's you the out there screaming at the market, all the Jews while the you're the playing with beast. them? No. Like, I, how could you guys keep doing all this shit? No. Getting Kanye closed down. I, I play. I, I play with Hasidic conservative Jews who love Trump. They're not like majority of Jews. Where do they have a beast? They're the ones. Well, no, they're not the Jews that like tend to vote Democrat. Like. And and uh, be part of the ADL and like want to destroy America. Do you where believe in do they Actually, don't say where they play because who knows yeah, what's yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> After this, let me know where they play. Me and Alejandro are gonna come and cover a game. <laughs> it's live. It's, that's fucked up. Jewish baseball <laughs> coverage. <laughs> it, and the funny thing is, my dog that's with me right now, his name is Sandman, which is. Because of a song that I put out, it's like a it's a clean version of a song that I put out, Sandman. But his nickname is Sandy, and Sandy Koufax was like a great Jewish baseball player. So like, I don't know why that all connected, but the point is that yeah, I, I play in that league because during the Chinese virus, they had removed the basketball rims. Yeah, from yeah, all yeah, the parks. Yeah. That's how I got yeah. to play and tennis. And I was like, yeah, you got to pick up a new sport. I have to start playing pickleball. <laughs> I like all types of shit. Um, but anyway. Yeah. You're like, who are these Hasidic gentlemen out here? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. the ball around. And you're like, that looks like a great league I could join. Yeah. Well, and, you know. Or you're like, I'm, I could kick the shit out of these Jews. How'd it go? <laughs> like, I'm going to be the star here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah, I was like, I was like, nah, man, maybe they know someone who could give me that loosen package. But, um,. <laughs> That would probably go over most people's head. But, uh, yeah, so I just want because I did write some notes down. Are we wrapping up? Because I just wanted to. No, whatever. What's oh, okay. I, I did want to just mention. Um, oh, and um, I'm putting out. Uh, well, it's okay. Yeah, anyway. Now back to what you got going on. I got the song Freedom. Well, I got Ted Nugent playing the, um... Ted Nugent, you are a Republican. Well, I went you to You are a Republican, yeah. Christian, white man. Yeah. Well, there's no plays denying with Jews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. You got, you got a lot of shit going on. You got a lot of shit going on. What way this guy is white? I'm he's not, not... He's not white. What I would mean? not be labeled white, even though I have been on the line with David Duke, and I'm trying to, Damn. like... What? Wait, wait, wait. So, what? Wow. <laughs> well, what did you just say? <laughs> what I, the fuck? <laughs> well, <laughs> whose numbers do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Take his phone. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Hey, man, what did you do with David Duke? <laughs> <laughs> I saw you're a real great guy. <laughs> what the fuck? You call him about? No, no. no see, well, we like, talking about your organization, don't, don't sir. Don't just Satan talk. <laughs> Jesus, Christ. we gotta be careful. He's on the FBI list, but I would just say this: that um, you're on it now. Yeah, for <laughs> you're sure. on that bitch too. God yeah. damn. Now, nah, but yeah, I just want to like say. Oh, you're not gonna talk no, about your relationship on. with yeah. David Duke? Yeah. Well, no, I was just joking. But. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm just saying, like, um, He's like Ted News, you put me on. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what's you know what's so funny is like, uh, I went, down, I was down at his ranch. Um, it's the first time that I actually shot shot a no, shot you a say gun. ranch. You don't mean an island, do you? No, 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 no. This is okay, ranch down in there. I don't know how far well, how deep your shit goes. It is close to Waco, <laughs> where where David Koresh uh, got invaded by the FBI. Oh, we know what happened yeah, yeah, in Waco. Yeah. Yeah. I went and visited the. Uh, of course the compound. you would. Yeah. Mm. Just because to get the vibes. Just to get the vibes. Just to soak it in. And the dude that was there who knew Koresh personally was like, yo, you give me the spirit of Koresh. I was like, I made it. Yeah. I was like, yeah, you should just stay there. And they're like, let's fucking get this going again. Yeah. Let's but, fucking get this going. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but shout, shout out to the Branch Davidians and David Koresh. But that was a horrible they're thing. They're still over there? Well, they rebuilt. Uh, Alex, Alex Jones actually uh, paid to get it rebuilt. So who shout out to Alex, Alex Jones. Jones. Alex Jones, the conspiracy theorist. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, Did you say who's bro? Alex Jones? If I see him, like I don't know. I don't know a list of conspiracy theorists offhand. No, what? you can't. Well, you, see, you know, you do know. Yeah. So, have you seen in the news like Ryan Garcia has been tweeting a lot Ooh, about great, great subject. What do you think about PizzaGate, Bohemian Grove? Democrats, that's who they say, you know, are eating babies and fetuses. Yeah. Is that? Well, a good thing for Josh to watch is... Uh, First of all... Are you not Josh? I am, oh, but... Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you calling me out? Go ahead. Oh, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I promise... He's trying to help you. I promise this is not related the to... New to the documentary. No, this is not... <laughs> <you're enjoying. laughs> This is not related to them to them boys. Uh, now I was saying, uh, no, and a good thing to be introduced to Alex Jones, he mm. snuck into the Bohemian Grove and filmed it. Wow! So if there's anything to be introduced to Alex on, is to watch that. Um, What's up with the Bohemians? We talking about like that's yeah. like well, he Bohemian said he, the Owl God. God. You haven't yeah. heard of? Is it Orlock the Owl God? Well, Moloch, which Moloch. which is. And I don't, I swear to God, this time I'm really you're, not trying to be. You're not in it, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> but, and but I, I don't mind him. I don't mind it. Yeah. I respect it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's, it's, it, it's now at this point, it has become mainly like a democratic thing, but. Um, That's why you got out. <laughs> well, <laughs> most Republicans are rhinos, like. I'm hardcore conservative. I'm not even. I don't even agree with most Republicans. I think they're rhinos. They might as well be Democrats. They're 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 Democrats drive. No, they're Republican conservatives driving at the speed limit. Like they're like, oh, I'm fine with all this debauchery. Let's just let's just do it slowly. You know what I mean, so they're not really hardcore. Um, I'm hardcore. Like, but. What I'm saying is like, and it's funny because like being a conservative now is like punk rock. It's like what rock and roll used to be like, oh, he's dangerous. You know what I mean? Like, but anyway, um, Bohemian Grove, uh, what's the dude that's in the movies with Mel Gibson, the black dude? Donald Glover? Yeah. Uh -huh. Alex Jones claimed, he Danny said that he saw, Danny Glover. Okay, Danny. he said he saw Danny Glover in there. So it's like, I don't know. It it's like probably just like a place where like guys just be going to chill out at. And, and, and guys should have that. Guys should have a place where they could just like, you know, zone out. But uh, yeah, I think a lot of the Hillary Clinton stuff, the Epstein stuff, but to get to the Moloch thing, and I promise this is not, a, I don't want to make this about them, them, you know, them boys, them boys. But it's like when you think about Moloch, right? In the Old Testament, that's where people would go to sacrifice their baby to Moloch. And if you think about like Planned Parenthood and abortion, and it was like introduced by Margaret Sanger, and like you know, these are factual things. This isn't a conspiracy. This is like you know, them boys have a lot of control. Well, I'm just gosh. saying. I'm just saying that like if you look at the history of what abortion was back in the old testament it was moloch and it was sacrificing children and killing babies in a womb is just that it is um sacrificing the children but um no one has been raining a lot <laughs> blame the jews and sacrificing more babies <laughs> you don't know how sacrificing works Oh, I thought that we was a, no. We I thought that was a joke. No, you you're only blaming the Jews. I'm yeah, yeah, part yeah, yeah. of the clan. No, but people joke I'm and accepted say, into the 
Yeah. Into they into don't the group. like you, but well, maybe not. But they got two kids, so they gotta accept me. And my mother's Jewish, and it's all about the mama. Exactly. So, 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 what I'm saying is, this is safe. Uh, uh, no, but I'm just joking around. But the point is, like, yeah, I think that there's a lot of uh, conspiracies that happen, but it's not really conspiracies. It's like, it's just people do collude, and people have nepotism, and there's there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I think that there's nothing wrong with that. I think that like instead of blaming and bitching and complaining. You need to link up with the people who are going to war with that. You know, Dame was the first person going to war with Lior, going to war with Harvey Weinstein, going to war with, um, you know, you can't, you can't be like, man, these people, you know, th this conglomerate made me famous and now I want to go to war. Nah, when that first person steps out, go with them. So that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like we got to be on like what Cam's on. I'm afraid, of these, I'm afraid for these Jewish baseball players. I feel like you're just trying to infiltrate them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just to get info. Yeah. Take well, it back to, to the people. We yeah. have to know where Take the them space down. lasers are, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and try to convert them to Christ. But you know the thing is, <laughs> that's, the that's thing what is, you're doing out there. No, nah, the, well the best. <laughs> I'm filming that for yeah. sure. <laughs> I'm yeah, out dude, there. This Jesus but, guy's not that hard. This can hit all the whole bro. I keep telling. <laughs> yeah. Join me, join me and Jesus is how we get through the game. It was funny because when there was a there was a there was a fastball that came at um my bro, my my boy Schmoly's uh, face and he did fall and say Jesus Christ. <laughs> and it was kind of funny. Um but yeah, but what I'm saying is that I think that like we all just need to think for ourselves, you know, and it's not about blaming Democrats or Republicans or or different groups of people. It's really about human nature, right? And if you leave it up to humans, we're always gonna be we're always gonna be wicked. People try to be like, man, I think people are like mainly good. Like if you really think about it, people are basically good people. Man, that ain't true. If you leave it up to people, people are always gonna do the wrong thing. We're always innately gonna do uh, you know. We're just wicked. We're wicked to the core. You, you hear about the shit that goes on. You hear about divorces. You hear about court cases. Uh, women taking children away from the, from the fathers. You hear crazy shit. And it's really just human nature, you know? And it's like... Uh, yeah, well, pretty soon you'll be able to just raise a baby in the factory and you won't have to have the mom. You just be like, give me six kids. Yeah. And they'll, raise, they'll just get them out of the factory for you. Yeah. That'd be better? Well, no, nah, it wouldn't be better because we need what God ordained, which is the, the nuclear family. And, um, what about and robots? You keep blaming people for sucking so much. What about when we get robots? Are they going to be better? Yeah. They're going to make better decisions? Well, probably not. There's a lot of good things about computers and about AI, but at the same time, there's a lot that, um, that it's kind of destroyed in, the, uh, in a lot of things, the workforce and people being able to have jobs and people doing things. And you can't complain. You got to just get with the future. But, um, yeah, we kind of create our own. We create a lot of our own problems. It's going to be a God uh, robot one day, just like that everyone refers to. <laughs> oh, this thing's so smart. Ah, and everyone just worships it. <laughs> yeah, it's and called they Google. Come, they come talk to it. <laughs> it's called Google. <laughs> <laughs> it's called, people are like, why is it 2024 and we still don't have flying cars? Well, we do. It's the internet. <laughs> no, we have flying cars. There's 3,000 people that put down payments on them. They're coming out next year. Yeah, next what? year? Fuck. The $300,000, you can pre-order one right now. It goes up in the air, and then it turns like this, and there's nothing in front of you. You're just sitting in this like little sphere, and you take off. You can go 110 miles. It only goes 30 miles an hour on the ground. The, it, I didn't know the wheels turn. The wheels a, don't turn. The whole body turns. And the, yeah, wheels, but now, the wheels are behind you now. Are there videos of that and shit? Nah, yeah. I don't know about that one. Look it up. There's videos of I've it. I've seen it floating. It comes it up, and then it turns like this. I seen it floating and hovering like those wheels. That's a turning? different one. There's like real videos of cars they've made in like Dubai that like hover oh, okay. based on things. But this is like an actual car comes up, turns like this, and then it basically look like those Star Wars fucking vehicles that go that way. Three hundred grand, AD. Like that Ferrari, baby, put you a down payment. You don't really like electric cars. I imagine that thing's gonna kind of move like one. Yeah, though. You know? that sounds horrible. Like a drone. I think you're gonna be a, you're drone certified, no? Yeah, I need to renew it I though. I think you should. I think you'll be able to like taxi people around. Maybe not everyone's gonna be able to drive one. Yeah. Alejandro's new job is just taxi and flying cars. Let's go. Get the dude from the Fifth Element dropping people. <laughs> you know. 
Hell yeah. And, and that's why I just want to like my main point about everything, like even bigger than my music, my main mission and my main thing is that I just want people to forgive. You know, I want people to realize that, you know, whatever someone has done to you, look inside yourself and see that you've done things that you can't believe you've done. And that should allow you to go and forgive. You know what I mean? Go to, go to whoever hurt you and say, hey, I'm sorry. What you did was wrong, but I don't have the right to hate you. I don't have the right, right to resent you for it. Because it's not for the person. It really sets you free, right? We've heard that before. It really sets you free. And it does, because if not, you're going to become who you hate. And you're going to become attracted to what you hate. And it's really, it's really the way, you know, we talk about world peace. Or we talk about, like, how can we get the world to be at peace? You are your own world. You are your own world. We can have heaven inside of us right now. You, can, you are the alpha and the omega of you. You can have peace. You can have the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Christ said the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You can have peace right now. And that's the whole concept of being in this world, but not of the world. You, the whole world could be on fire, but you can have perfect peace and walk through the fire. So my whole thing is about just forgiveness and overcoming the anger. So that you can have love, you know, and we got to bring the love back. Fifth rapper. Me. <laughs> okay. There you go. There we go. Yeah. All right, <laughs> All right Dylon. <laughs> you got a fucked up question? Did you already yeah. ask it? What yeah, do we no, got? No, okay. You got one? Yeah, we got always one. try to get a one fucked up question. Maybe oh, it's like that. some weird, I don't know. Maybe okay, it's directed so, towards you. I'm not sure yet. You, you pr- probably been on a plane, right? Yeah. So this is the eternal question. When you... Uh, stand up and go to the bathroom. Do you give the crotch or the ass? <laughs> what is wrong with your questions all the time? <laughs> that, that's actually well, a very yeah, observant. When you're, when you're swooping through like a lane, it depends. Uh, do you give you the give crotch a, or the ass? I give a dude the ass. I give a lady <laughs> the face. <laughs> <It'll> pause. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I don't understand the Pins question. Who's there. But I don't know if I should. I, yeah, I, I, no, I you're, in the the you're in the you're in an aisle or like on an airplane. Someone comes scooping by you, right? Like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Right, right, I'm right. Now. Right. Now, when you scoop through them in the aisle, are you giving like if I give you ass or I give you this way when I come through? Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. What you giving? Oh, wait a minute. I was waiting for our guest. Oh. Man, that's a really observant and very like Larry David type of. It's like, on Fight Club, I so like I don't want to get too much credit. Oh, it's from Fight Club. Yeah. Oh, interesting. It's, like it's, it's a little quote he tells him. It's like, interesting. I really like that question. I don't know. That's. <laughs> I gotta think about it. Yeah, time. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, for, for now on, in my life, <laughs> every time I do this, I'm going to think about that. I'm gonna be like, wow, like, yeah. What's All the I know, What's the etiquette? Are you always supposed to give ass? Because I'm not ever sure if you're supposed to give dick to the face. <laughs> well, and what I'm sitting there, I'm sliding through. What I do know is that even first class, which I have not, I need to probably get my money up, but even first class, bro, flying. Oh, I'll say this. This is this is something that's been on my mind. All this DEI, what is this? The diversity, equity, inclusion program. I don't know if y'all been paying attention how many mishaps have been happening in the air lately. Yeah, but this is why you can't kicked. just be hiring people. But one guy just be- got uh, <laughs> just got dead because of this. Oh, yeah. That you one, heard about that? The Boeing? The Boeing the guy, guy? That's what I'm trying to say. He's the whistleblower. <laughs> now he's dead. What do you mean he's the whistleblower? He was, he was about the one who talked about like, all this shit and then going the, down at the The night line. before? He mysteriously committed suicide. Wait for saying what I said. He had a lot of stuff going on psychologically. Wait a minute. (laughs) What was he gonna say? He was saying why, like Boeing's, like had a bunch of mishaps and like a wing fell off and that door flew out. (laughs) And you know what? Crazy shit. Because why? why? Some people think it's because of what he's talking about because diversity hires and people are just hiring not based on skill level but based on we got to feel like we got to have. 10 diversity people that right. work here that and now why. they're fucking shit up. But that sounds pilots. stupid. <laughs> it does sound stupid because back in the good old days, you hired people who were qualified. Well, so you mean, 
are we implying that they're hiring ignorant people <laughs> to, to put I'm together? I'm not sure. To put together yeah, I'm airplanes. Saying, yes, I'm to saying I am. I'm saying that's a theory. They're putting together Let me make it clear. airplanes. Let me make it clear. It ain't no theory for me. They have a quota now that they have to hire so many uh, transgenders, so many uh, uh, women, so many whatever. Yeah, there's quotas for companies that... But and that's insane. But they're called diversity hires. I don't and think, it should make you feel unsafe. That'd be crazy if they categorized it off. God, you gotta, you gotta draft <laughs> like, three transgenders... You need seven wait a minute, black are you, dudes. Okay, wait a minute. That's I think what it's they just, are. I think it's an overall percentage. Okay, of, okay, I just want to understand it. So are we saying that some of these major We are corporate, not saying anything. We I, are on the line. Okay, no, listen. With, I just want to understand. With Instagram. I wanna, <laughs> this is something I'm, I'm familiar with. So I'm just saying, you're saying that some co- big major corporations, they have to hire a certain amount of transgender people? Diversity. Yes. So many women, so many blacks, so many yeah, transgenders, so many illegal aliens. Yeah. So it just can't be white dudes no more. If you're which, means, work, which means, doing all the which means, which means work, AD. Right, right. Which We're means it's not going to be safe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, I want to say this. I actually quiver at night. <laughs> Let me say this. Let me say this. I quiver at night. I lose sleep at night, realizing that in 20 years we're not going to be a majority white country. <laughs> it's not a world well, on now. Maybe not here. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, white people don't dominate the world, right? But name First a na- all, name another country that you'd you want to live dominate? in. Wait, um, wait. What I, what you I mean, like, yeah, yeah. population yeah, wise, yeah, because yeah. otherwise, yeah. Na- <laughs> we, we are dominant. Name another country <laughs> that you'd want to live in that isn't majority white. And 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 Atlanta. <laughs> Country, country. I already know that. I was fucking <laughs> right. Yeah, but and listen, country. Country. Atlanta is the only place I feel safe. <laughs> Period. You know you don't believe I got that. pulled. Yes, I man, I got pulled over the other day. Police officer black, everybody black. I get it. Nobody got hurt. Everybody <laughs> left the scene untouched, unscathed. I love it. Puerto nice. Rico, technically a country. Yeah. Technically. I guess so. Puerto Rico. What did you what did you do? My man threw the you're confusing me you because live in Puerto Rico. you're not <laughs> yeah. you're not white. You going back? No. No. So but you're promoting white people. I'm because I'm tired of the white slander. I think it's like But you're not you're white. Damn right. So what? <laughs> I, so well, you're, you part be, white. I am part white, but but to David Duke I wouldn't be. But my point is that like that's what that's what that's what you talked to him about, huh? Yeah. He's like, I, I just wanted to get like one shot. Right, uh, I want to be thinking about you know when you got the hoods on, you can't really see. <laughs> well, I will say that Black Lives Matter is way worse than the KKK. Black Lives in, in what sense? In the fact that um, what's worse, to kill the spirit or kill the body? You uh, know, it goes back to hanging. It, it goes back to <laughs> is worse. <I> don't <laughs> but, but my point, my point is that when you when you when you encourage people to be angry, you are killing them. So you said you felt like Black Lives Matter encouraged people to be angry. Well, let's just talk about how they stole all this money, and I don't know if you've seen the Candace Owens documentary, but let's just talk about all the money that that they stole and uh, and raised, and you know, but. Sometimes you don't know what to do with money when you first get it. New organization, you got to figure shit out. So, so you think that's the first time an organization has stolen money? Nah, but it but it should be like. Or did they just follow the same patterns of all organizations? And that makes it right, huh? Doesn't make it right. Uh, right. It makes Uh, it similar. All I know. All I know. All I know. Uh, you all think I all the is, money that's going to Red Cross is being used correctly, especially when you have the CEO of that company making twenty million dollars a year? Yeah, well, look it's at wrong. Haiti right now. Didn't the Clinton Cross raise a lot of money? Makes twenty mil all day. I don't know, but I know that Black Lives Matter in. raised money by manipulating specifically a lot of, I guess, minorities in general, but a lot of black and a lot of just already people who are. Man, this is messed up. They getting emotional. They getting angry, and then they just stirring it up. It's the same thing with, um, with what I was talking about. With I mean, Democrats do it all the time. Like the fact that the fact that what's her name? The, we haven't seen her in so long. What's the vice president's name? 
Kamala Harris? Right. The fact that she's bailing people out for burning down the country in 2020 and um, and we're still, like, keeping people in jail for, uh, which I disavow, January 6th, but it's like, you know, we just living in a twilight zone, bro. We living in some sort of, like, uh, you know, we living in a twilight zone. So, if you're on an airplane... What will make you more nervous? <laughs> Seeing a woman pilot or a black pilot? Or a female well, black pilot. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? Like, I love Justice Clarence Thomas, right? Like, like I love that man. I love that man so much because people hate him so much. Especially a lot of black people that I know. They hate Justice Clarence Thomas. And it's like... You know, it's funny how like you gonna answer the question, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm answering okay. it. Okay, yeah. Um, it's funny how like affirmative action would make it seem like, oh, did Justice Clarence Thomas get this position because he's qualified, or did he get it because of affirmative action? I think the black people that I know, they be like, man, affirmative action is disrespectful to me. And I think anybody who's a reasonable person would agree with that. And white women actually benefit the most from affirmative action, um, which I'm very much against. And my dad, actually. But, um, but it should feel disrespectful. You should be like, nah, I can do this. I can do this because I'm qualified and I worked hard the to do only it. Thing- I don't want you to think that I got this because of affirmative action. And people think that about Justice Clarence Thomas. I saw some liberals being like, he wants to get rid of affirmative action, but yeah. he benefited from it. Don't you think that's some sort of uh, white scapegoating tool now just to be like, well, this black guy is successful. It must be because of affirmative action. But no, when really, he's probably I'm, just successful because he's successful. What I'm but saying is that thing- we should erase that thought. It shouldn't even be able to be a possible thought. Well, the, everybody's not a leader. Some people yeah, oh, just sorry, sorry. some people. Somebody got to work at McDonald's, and what I mean by that is everybody's not going to be able to go off, start their own businesses, and do all these different things. Yeah, you know, I totally respect the entrepreneur for going off and doing his own thing, but there is not very many of us that's willing to do that. So they hired affirmative actions because some of these people weren't ever going to get jobs, weren't ever going to be able to move up in some of these corporations. Since we already know the United States is dominated by white people and white corporations, and we already know most people feel comfortable around people that look just like them. And if these other companies aren't governed by minorities, then how would you expect for someone as like a minority to succeed in the United States? Because I believe that that is a, a lot of that is a, is a made up thing that people have like ran with because, you know, so people, so you're saying that I have my own company downstairs. It's more black people probably than white people. And, and the only reason why that probably exists is because I'm black, so therefore I'm more comfortable when we have an interviewing process, and I'm like, oh, hey, this guy, I understand, I can identify with him, so therefore that tends to happen. You don't think that happens with other corporations? It does. We probably have a, there's a reason why, like, when you go to... Yeah, but he's saying it's not a problem. Huh? He's saying it's not a problem that that happens. No, if he admits affirmative that, if, action if is he the admit, problem. If if he admits that is happening, then how would you expect other people who aren't entrepreneurs to succeed in a place that's dominated by white corporations? But I think that's like you know, because even before you think about it, even before civil rights, I think a lot of that is not is not true though. You think about like look at Harlem uh, in the thirties. The look, worst thing that ever happened to black people was the civil is, rights movement. Was interracial. I mean, right. integration. Civil rights movement. Yeah. So we agree. No, I totally agree <laughs> with that. But they don't exist. Those places don't exist anymore because of integration. But so since they don't exist, but you're so doing therefore, it. so th- you're doing it. Huh? I've been doing it. So no one else can do it. Everybody's not a leader. But you, so you're better than the the rest. Huh? I'm <laughs> definitely better than them. Well, then then I'm definitely better than them. Well, that could be and, your perspective. And, 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 huh? My perspective. You asked me my perspective, yeah, and I gave why it to you. Don't you build a community in the desert? Fuck them. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> 
would say. Listen, I'm trying to tell you. Look, and we already know integration destroyed black people and back black people being able to control their situation. Right. So that's what happened. So therefore, now it's harder to even start now in. 2024. So it's just difficult. It just takes one person to lead the well, de- well, 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 de- integration. Yeah, I, you started. I can't lead the deintegration <laughs> movement. You're the, white, crazy. you're the white what? Nipsey hustle. You can do anything. <laughs> well, it's funny because I, I ran into Van Jones the other day and I was like, yo, I said, can I ask you a question? He goes, yeah, sure. I said, why do you get on CNN and say, um, White supremacy is our number one enemy, and white supremacy is the most the, the main thing that we got to deal with. He goes because it's true. I said, so how did you do it? And he goes, well, I'm just kind of your argument. I'm just me. I'm better than the rest of the blacks. And um, I didn't say I was better than the blacks. But, I said I'm better than other people. Right, right, right. Okay. So well, he he was basically saying that he's better than the black the rest of the blacks, and because that's what I hear when people say that. And and I'm like, okay, so why don't you get on CNN and tell everyone else how to do it like you did it why can't you why, why can't you talk about that instead of if jesse jackson is walking around telling so you people, think there are more leaders than followers what i'm saying is that if we all had fathers in the home and we all stop believing all this propaganda and we stop having anger in our heart we all can do anything we could do everything that anyone else is doing but until that exists that's why they had affirmative action Nah, the, yeah, well, until, mm-hmm. until that exists where people are be able to see past color, to see past some of the, you know, that that guy doesn't look like me. Until that exists, it's harder for other people to succeed. You, you can't admit that's true? Well, I can admit that there are stereotypes and there's stereotypes for a reason. Why? Because a lot of them are true. Okay. What's, <laughs> what's, what's one of the biggest stereotypes that you believe to be true? Um... Asians can like drive. Arabs, like Arabs blow up buildings. Like we, we, that's what we be on. We be on blowing up shit. And it's true. Who else be blowing up <laughs> shit? We blowing up shit, bro. Arabs be blowing up shit. That's okay. a stereotype of of me. <laughs> You know, but what I'm saying they is, be blowing we, up shit. we gotta be real okay. about, <laughs> yeah. But we also gotta be real just about like you know uh, whatever it is. People bring up redlining or people bring up uh, you know different things that like we also gotta just look at like we gotta be real. We have to have we gotta stop being scared of having like some conversations that is just like, bro, come on, let's come out of the twilight zone. Let's you know. Speaking but, of real quick conversations that we had on the podcast, I'm gonna bring back your boy over here has got some braids. Would you ever get those braids braided up? I had up? braids as a child. Would you ever get those braided up by a dude? Nah. Has a dude ever braided your hair, sir? <laughs> nah. <laughs> There's a debate, heavy debate going on on the internet on whether or not... Is a haircut. I don't know if I'd be whether against it. Not a, a dude should braid you up. And we're highly against the fact that uh, no dude I, I should be braiding up another dude. You weren't? You're oh, with it? I, it's a haircut. I don't know. Yeah, you're the, you got swayed by the comments. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're like, you know, in the stairway and then the guy's braiding your hair, then it's kind of weird. Up, but y'all? if you go to an establishment, <laughs> then it's okay. No. 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 That's a funny Still topic, not though. Okay. Still yeah. not okay. And, and, and see, that's why I like y'all's show. And I'm sorry for, like, coming in and, like... Uh, Blowing up, shut down, blowing up, the, blow it. No, because nah, like, <laughs> I, I am a comedian too. A lot of stuff that I'm saying is in jest. Like I, I, sometimes I say it seriously, but I'm really saying a lot of things just That's being funny. That's one of the art of being a comedian, though. It's saying it uh, funny. Well, they know you're joking. Oh well, <laughs> not, not actually. Good comedians. Hey, you gotta have a punchline after you say crazy not, shit. Good comedians. <laughs> Good comedians don't. I don't think so. I think Dave Chappelle says a lot of shit that makes you just like you don't even laugh. Like when I when I like a comedian, I don't ever laugh. That's crazy. That's when I know you're a good comedian. Okay. That's when I know you laugh once. No, I loved it. No, because that's when I. That's when Fifty dollars wasted. That's when I know it's like intelligent. It's not like a jester in the court. It's not like, uh, you know, it's not like. Something silly. So it's, he makes it lighthearted, though. But some of those where he's smoking a cigarette for 45 minutes? You see some of them? Yeah. Where he's smoking no, a cigarette? No, it's honesty all over, the, all over his, his special. So I, I understand what you're it saying. It takes him an hour to say one. to Because he's trying to make it digestible. Right. Well, 
maybe that's what I'm doing. It's just going to take maybe five uh, years. I think but, you got to work on those skills a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, a lot of it's entertainment, too, and I do want it to be uh, – Sometimes you got to shock the system. Sometimes you got to just allow people to think for themselves. And it's like, maybe it's like, you know what? Maybe that, it's like, what's the, what's the call when you have to shift the window? What's that window that people be calling? The, uh, the, uh, I, I'm, I forget what it is, but it's like, you got to slide it so far right mm-hmm. that you can now look at things from a middle ground because things are so left and I don't mean conservative, liberal. I'm talking about just like in, in geometry. Like things are so one way that there's got to be somebody that pulls it so far this way just so you can look at it in the middle. You don't have to come all the way there with me, but you can at least now come a little bit over to the, to the, to the middle. And that's what we should be doing as people, you know? Bringing it back to the middle. Yeah, bring it back to the middle. I feel like a shift is happening with uh, what they call, you know, the cancel culture. Uh, I I feel like we're going back to those good old days of, you know, not getting canceled completely for saying, you know, what's in your mind being sexist or not not that that exists because it's love or hate, but more freedom for comedy, I would call it. Yeah, I thought you were going to say bring it back to the good old days when all the illegals got kicked out. (laughs) But... uh, I'm looking at your haircut. Did they? You didn't even finish? Uh, oh, I, that was me. I was you, did, you did this yourself? I did it to myself. Are you trying to look like women no, more? You ethnic? haven't seen the back of this like you motherfucker. Got <laughs> like you, you gotta got see it. I'm on. watching it. I've been looking at the side of it. And every now and then he turns his head to the left, and I'm like, "Well, the side's what the okay. Fuck you can't is see the going back. on over there? You can see the back. That's the only thing that matters. The sides. The back. I'll fix he it did. later. Oh yeah, see, and that's what it looks like. It's like I'll fix it later. Yeah. Haircut. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> tried. You tried. I tried. You didn't. It you should tape it, it off next time. It's spring. Time. It got so hot. You know, I just couldn't take it anymore. Okay. I got I'm you. like Pedro from, you know. Yeah, but then you put a turtleneck on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was going so far to the right, I had to, you there know, you go, go. Yeah, back, back. To pull it back okay. in the middle. Yeah, it's, right. like a, it's like a futuristic Steve Jobs. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> like a Mad Max Steve. I, like, I dig it. But yeah, but anyway, I, I just want to say that, yeah, it's all love. I love everybody. It's a spiritual battle. And when I say racism don't exist, even though I've been talking, we've been talking a lot about race, which is ironic, but uh, racism don't exist because we don't wrestle with flesh and blood. It's a, we, we, we wrestle with spirits and principalities. It's a spiritual battle and we all equal under God and we, we all dealing with the same thing, you know. Uh, my girl the other day was like, you know, it's funny how some people have different battles. Some people battle with drugs. Some people battle with alcoholism. Some people battle with sex. And I said, no, babe, we all battle with the exact same thing. And it's the thoughts. We overcome the thoughts. We overcome the world. And then what? No, we were supposed to leave it with that nice <laughs> the comment. Ice wall. You just fucked yeah, it up. Yeah, that was my Tupac. That was, that was, that was, that was his, my Tupac fucking club. moment. Yo, fuck, and we yeah. don't have outros. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have outro moments. I wrap this show up. That was, that was the Tupac. That's why he's second after Jesus, them quotes, boy. Yeah, but his music sucks. No, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, nah, but... Yeah, the album coming. We do do music. So if you don't like my opinions, uh, my opinions are like a cold shower, but the music's like a warm blanket. So uh, the music will feel nostalgic. It'll make you feel feel warm. But some of these points that I got all that I got to get off are cold plunges, you know. And it's a happy medium. You might not agree with it all, but yeah, the music I think is like more in the middle. You know, it's like a happy medium, and it's like. Yeah, it's the second coming. Music coming. Shout out to Dame. Shout out to uh, thank y'all so much. Uh, shout out to like I said, Justice League and Bink and uh, Vic Mensa. This joint coming, and also like this documentary that we coming out with. This anything is possible documentary. It's like you know there be different people that be like, oh, they be trying to downplay it, right? They be trying to like downplay it. And I ain't gonna say specifically who, but there's been a lot of people just in the kind of yay, even in my years of being around yay, right? And there's different people like um uh uh 
I mean, I got a shout out to Malik Youssef. I don't know if you guys, Malik Youssef is I like, know him. yeah, Malik, Malik is like the original person that like brought me into the game and like brought me to meet Ye initially. So shout out to Malik. But it'd be a lot of other people that be trying to like gatekeep, you know what I mean? And they be trying to like, because they, they employed, right? So they got to keep their job, right? So it's like, there's different people over the years, like uh, different producers and people that Ye introduced me to. But they still be trying to, like, block. You know, there's people like Free and Greg and uh, Boogs and all these different people. And they be trying to downplay it. Or they'll be, I did a podcast with this girl, Green Girl. She does the Kanye podcast thing. And she's, like, trying to downplay the documentary. Like, oh, okay, like, you know, you showing all this footage. Like, I, you know, whatever. It's like, and that feels like the bully in the back of the class when the kid's drawing. And he's trying to draw and he's trying to do something with his life. And the bully comes in the back and just starts beating him up for being like an artist or being like trying to do something. And people always do that. They'll be like, they'll try to make fun of you for trying. You know what I mean? And it like cripples you. It's like, look at him trying over there. And what I need to make clear to everybody, all them people, it's like what this doc is. First of all, ain't no other person. This, this is direct to camera. Mm -hmm. There's no other human being on the planet Earth. The planet Earth <laughs> that has this man, yay, sitting down, listening to my music, watching my videos, watching my visuals, and sitting there listening to it. And I have that on footage. So for anyone to downplay that, like that's not the motherfucking impossible. <laughs> like that ain't motherfucking Michael Jackson sitting there listening to my music. You might have footage of yay. But he doing his shit. <laughs> you might have worked on stuff with Ye, but it was his shit. There's not a person on the planet Earth that has that while I'm playing that. And this is a little bit of ego coming out, so I'm, I'm, I'm aware of it. But what I'm saying is like anybody talking shit is like beating up the kid in the back of the class for doing the motherfucking impossible. And it's like, stop making fun of people for trying. Shut the fuck up and go try. That was a better ending. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Alright, chum. Thanks for coming in. Another great episode. Hassan, yep. thank God. Check him out on Instagram. Check him out on American New Network. Spotify. Check him out on Spotify. Yeah. Check him out on YouTube. Check him out on all the platforms, except for the ones they shut us all down on after this. <laughs> <laughs> we out of here. It's all it's all jokes. It's all entertainment. <laughs>